29th of January 2022. I keep thinking 2021, everybody. I really do. Now, um, I have, uh, it's Friday evening again, time for a beer. Paul Turvey, yes, absolutely, time for a beer. Um, right, hit the like button, hit the like button down below. Let's take this live stream to where it should be tonight, everybody. And we can only do that, hello, Jess, how are you doing? By hitting the like button down below. Come on, let's smash it. Let's get it over the line. Love the lads. Right, I'm going to quickly turn my... <sighs> busy, busy, isn't it, you know? It's Friday, Spitfire Callum, Cobb Chops evening all. I'm going to pour myself a pint. <clears throat> Here we go. First pint of the Friday night. Grand Chaps, Daniel Bell, Louise Dodds, Tony Two Shoes, thanks for that. Loving uh, Ryan McFarlane, Craig Holmes, Lewis, Andy Bloomer. Evening, everyone. Evening, all. As you all know, I wait on a Friday to have my first beer with you. With you lot. Should we have our first sip together? It's Friday night, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. so good in it i'm so glad travis is watching i'll tell you a story for why in a moment uh, irish craft beer guy alan mead with a one pound 99 one euro or 99 super chat happy friday get the beers in alan the milkman mead cheers mate thanks for the one euro 99 super chat first super chat of the evening really appreciate your fantastic donations to the channel uh Finally caught me live. Sam S has caught me live. Amazing, amazing. So, um, <clears throat> I am drinking. The video's not out yet. Um, I might release it tomorrow. I might keep it for Friday. I don't know. Keep it for next Friday. I'm drinking Tenants. Tenants Lager on the perfect draft because I haven't reviewed it. I haven't had it. It is big. Care. We got a couple more people in. Steve Richardson, Damir91. Sentry, Ryan McFarlane, Jack Bandit, cheers all, cheers all. 132 people into the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Hit that like button down below. Can we do a cheeky 100 likes? 100 likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. It would be amazing if we could do that. Absolutely fantastic. We got 50 likes. Grew up on <laughs> Do you know what? It's all right. I'm enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it. It's a much better beer than I remember Tenants ever being. Um, happy Friday. 72 likes. Let's push it then. Scottish Foster's terrible stuff, John. It's, all, it's actually all right on the perfect draft. Ordering that your stuff tomorrow. Thank you very much, Daniel Bale. Um, Tenant Super, no English cat, not Tenant Super. Can you imagine me on the Tenant Super from the Perfect Draft? I'll be all over the flipping shop. I quite like it, Tony. Hello, uh, roller coaster ride. How you doing, mate? Seventy eight likes. Seventy eight likes. Evening Lee W. Evening Lee M. Seventy eight. Come on, hit the like button down below. Twenty two more likes. Let's get this like. Let's get this over a hundred. Like so we can get the live stream. Lots of people into the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. I know sometimes it frustrates people when I ask, but if I don't ask, if we don't get that live stream early on, liked, we don't get the viewership. We really str not str struggle is not the right word, but we. It's nice to have a really big viewership all evening at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We can only do that by showing YouTube's algorithm that that there's people enjoying the live stream. So it's a, it's a bit like a hack, hacking the system. Ten more likes to go. Ten more likes to go then. Come on, smash it, says Alan Mead. Smash it. Nine more likes to go. Let's cap, count it down. Hello, Captain Mead. How you doing, mate? Toby. Four more likes to go. And then I want to get back to my Travis conversation. Neil Long, there he is, Neil Long. 
Neil, thank you so very much for your patience with those um, Malta beers. Um, I feel a little bit kind of ashamed of myself that I have still, I got round to one of them so far. I've got to get round to reviewing more of these beers from Malta. Uh, Paul Turvey, even Simon. Vinny and Sue, are you doing? Vinny and Sue from Wigan. Um, Joe, um, Joe Biden, I think he's moved. He's moved states and he, he might come back soon, maybe one day. Still last week, tenants this week. Welcome to the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Punch the like button. Oi, oi, beer o'clock, says Stephen Mealy. Hello, Stephen, how we doing? Right, Sid Cannon, Paul said, Neil along again, chatting, right. Travis is in. Here it is. Right. I've never done this before. I've never done this before. I've got to be a little bit careful because there's addresses on you and stuff. And um, So, <coughs> last week we were talking about parcels from Australia, one week, being lost in the post. Well, one turned up on Wednesday. Another one turned up on Friday. Happy Friday, Simon. I got myself a Voodoo Ranger. For my sub, got no real expensive... What's your review? Is there anything you could compare it to? Gandalf IPA, maybe? Mark Franklin, yeah, maybe a little bit like Gandalf. I haven't had Gandalf in years, though, so it's um, it's tough to um, for me to gauge it because it's been such a long distance between drinking the two beers. So anyway, um, going back to it, I was out today. My wife's got one of those ring doorbells. Oh. So she was like, oh, the postman's at the door. We've missed a parcel. And I was like, oh man. <coughs> she said it's the beer tube from Trav. And I was like, I was gutted, gutted, because this come up. I had one parcel Wednesday, which went missing. And this parcel, which was sent quite a bit after, um, was gonna come before the other part. But anyway, it turns out they come within two days of each other. It's like the Ely bus. You wait ages for one and two turns up at once. So I'm walking home. We had we went out for lunch. My wife had a week off work, Mel. And it was her last day off. We decided to go out for a bit of lunch. Nothing spectacular. Weatherspoons dinner, you know. Keep it cheap, as I like to do. Neil Smith, how are we doing? Uh, who's on the hazy stuff? Brew by numbers, four New England IPA from M&S, the blinder. Can't be a good old Cronenberg. Like the 96 plus, I guess, Simon. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, buddy, Visor. How you doing, mate? Can't believe that you can eat meat off the bone, Simon. You're doing that on so much flavour. I, I just like I just like chicken breast, mate. I just I'm a chicken breast type of guy, me. Anyway, I'm walking home from the from the lunch in Weatherspoons, and uh, I see the parcel force truck, and I know I know the guy. He's a lovely guy, fantastic guy, and I went running over to him. And I said, you wouldn't be able to do me a favour, would you, mate? And he said, I know what you're going to ask me. He said that you want your blooming parcel, don't you? So I whacked this on my shoulder. He gave me the parcel. Whacked it on my shoulder like that, and I walked home. <laughs> I walked home with this with a thing of beer on my shoulder. So, um, yeah, that, that's the story, really. That's the, that's, the, that's the story. So shall we... Uh, I might need a friggin' knife. <coughs> trying to make sure that I don't put people's addresses out on the internet. Um, right, nice, semi sharp. Um, oh, what we got? Breathe in, lean over the bar, and then you can't reach it. Right, I'm gonna have to go and get a knife. It won't be a second. I won't be a second. Get the chainsaw on. It says big Kev. Um, I'm gonna go and get an. I haven't got. I haven't got my keys. I haven't got bugger all on me. Right, I'm gonna go and quickly get a knife. We're gonna unbox this live at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Yeah, so that made my day. That really, that really, really made my day. When I was able. When I was able to walk this on on my shoulder. Here we are. 
Nearly there, nearly there. I'm unboxing a parcel, everybody. All the way from Australia. Right, here we go, here we go. Wow! Travis is brave. Travis is brave. He's put a glass bottle in here. That is brave, mate. My goodness me. I can't believe that made it. She's gone out for a bottle of wine. <laughs> she's gone to pick the daughter up from karate. And she's gone... She's gone for a bottle of wine. But we, she has one here now from the lovely Trav. Graham Shiraz Cabernet 2019. For 39 years, over two generations have been making this wine. It is our history and epitomizes our ideology. Respect the Taria in which the grapes grow and allow the hand of God to prevail in the winemaking. That looks a nice bottle. Thank you very much, Trav. Thank you, mate. She went out with my bloody bank card as well. So she's buying, she's buying wide with my money. Right. Moon Dog Cake Hole Black Forest Stout 6.5% ABV. That looks good, doesn't it? Another moon dog cake go. I think that's it. That is it from the lovely Trav. So um, we have another moon dog cake hole. Black Forest Stout. Do you know I might crack one of these later? Depends if Mel wants to review it. Uh, like Christmas all over again. So I cake hole. Uh, that sounds lovely. Um, yeah, and oh, look at this. Deeds Brewing Company, Glorious Purpose, a blended imperial stout with cherries. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. So, live on YouTube. Thank you very much, Trav. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I'm going to put that on the end of the bar here for Mel. Can you can just see that, can you? Uh, I got all these flipping sausage things now everywhere. Wow. Here we are. Right, tidied up. All tidy. Do you know I found this under Mal's pillow the other day? No word of a lie. This very knife. I found it under Mal's pillow. I thought I thought I'd done something wrong, like you know. But her fish tank is next next to the. <laughs> Her fish tank is next to a bed, so she said, oh, no, 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 I wasn't planning on doing anything to you. She said, um, I, I had to unbox something to <laughs> to put into the fish tank, like fish food. I absolutely, I crap myself. I was thinking, what have I been looking at online? What has she, like, found? Like, my, my, my Lindsay Dorn Mackenzie fetish type thing, you know. She, she's found out, like... I've been looking at big wobblies or something on the internet and she found out. She put the knife under the pillow type thing. But yeah, that very knife. <laughs> I was like, woo, I better be a good boy for the next few weeks. <laughs> Get a hazy haze, hazy haze in the house. Uh, 273 viewers at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. You guys are amazing. Um, and name man, absolutely lovely. It's Friday and watching you again. Big love and Anita from Edinburgh. LDM fetish, old school. Lindsay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's, um, she's, she's, yeah, she's my favorite. Um, hit the like button. Do me a 91. Um, cheers, everyone. Blast from the past. Uh, yeah, that Neil Smith. Yeah, maybe, maybe I need to sort myself out. In that department. <laughs> Evening all. Happy Friday. Uh, cheers, Simon. It's the Stone Crow. Get it up. Uh, I remember. She did. Uh, just wanted to say a massive thanks to you. 
<coughs> is because of your reviews, I got myself a perfect draft. Changed my world. Thanks, Cy. Daniel Marshall. Absolutely. Don't you worry about it, Daniel Marshall. I went to school with a Daniel Marshall, you know. He was a lovely guy. Um, just in from work, uh, about to put my lips onto an Edelweiss on the, my beloved blade. Hazy Hayes. Same as me. Absolutely same as me. I just... I always wait for my first pint to drink with you guys. And I couldn't wait to get into this. Absolutely couldn't wait. Daz Hampton has become a new member of the channel, the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. If you want to become, I want to say thank you first of all to Daz Hampton. There's a join button down below. If you hit the join button, you have the opportunity to, every month, donate to us £1.99 at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And it just helps us get along. It's Captain Meat's been a member for 22 months. That is insane, Captain Meat. That is insane. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a £1.99 membership. There's higher, there's higher tiers, but it's, it's nice for you guys to come in at that tier because... It just shows, you know, years ago, that would have been buying somebody a pint, wouldn't it, once a month. And I quite, you know, it's, it's a nice, the, the more people do it, the more people kind of tick the channel along, keep us kind of going. And I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, same with the Super Chats. I absolutely really appreciate the Super Chats. Mark Ketley with a £2 Super Chat. Unreal. Thank you so very much. It's unreal. But if you want to become a member of the channel, there's a join button down below or... Have a look at the wonderful Irish Craft Beer Guy, Alan Mead's link to the membership of our channel. And you can hit that link and you can become a member just a couple of pound a month just to help us along. Thank you. Uh, just pop the cork on a St. Pierre Blonde. Cheers, everyone. Um, good evening, mate. I've just opened a can of beer for the start of the virtual pub. Hope you and the family are well. Jamie Lowe, yeah, we're all well. We're all well. We're all well. Am I far from Tiny Rebel? Um, I'm about 30, 40 miles, 30 miles away from Tiny Rebel. The actual brewery itself. Andy Wilson. Welcome to the lifeboat. Keeping us afloat. We've got another member to the channel. £1.99 a month. It just means so much to us at the channel for that. Absolutely amazing. <coughs> we got to get Mel straight in. Ryan, Ryan LFC with the two pounds super chat. Just you guys are just amazing. You guys are amazing. Daniel Bales for a link up to the merch if you want to buy some Stone the Crows virtual pub t shirts or jumpers, hoodies. Um, check out Daniel Bales link for the hoodie and the merch. Any plans for the weekend, Spitfire Callum? Any plans for the weekend? Oh, um, yes, it's Mel's birthday, so um, I'm going to look after her this weekend. I'm going to look after. Her. We're going to have we're going to have a good time this weekend, and then um, all back to normal next week. All back to normal. My month long Christmas is coming to an end. Um, Simon, uh, we have to pay you for the rest of the week when we can pay one pound. 99 Captain Meets Avengers, you are an absolute star. On the Harper's Toffee Yale from Aldi, very nice. Steve Amelia, yeah, it's not bad. I think I like that one. I like the um, was it the coffee? Did they make what's the other one? The coffee stout that was beautiful. I like that, really like that one. I'm really liking this tenants. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm really liking this tenants on the perfect draft. It's really quite nice. Uh, managed to grab a Francis Canner Royal for my perfect draft, Simon. Would you say that the best keg you've had on the perfect draft so far? It's very good. It is very, very good. Big happy birthday to Mel. Um, it's not a birthday yet, but it, it kind of works that we do something this weekend, if that makes sense to you guys. Got a perfect draft. Triple Camel A coming tomorrow. Might be a bit strong. Um, Visua Light Limited. I tell you what, that's going to be a strong... That's going to be a strong old beer, that is. Absolute, that, that's triple Camry on the perfect draft. I think I've had it, actually. I think, I think it, it took me a while to get through that one. It was one of those kegs. It took me a while. Uh, 
Uh, didn't like Tenants on the Tropicana tonight. It's nice, says Michael United. Yes, I'm drinking Tenants from the Perfect Draft. Thanks, Simon, for recommending the Perfect Draft. I'm on the Stella and Filtered. Johnny Can Chandra, honestly, it's an amazing bit of kit. It's an amazing bit of kit. Small plug behind me, my nephew, that is. Landlords love that beer. Fair play, G DJ, I respect it. Hi from Liverpool, Carl. Uh, thanks for Unfilter Stella review. Just having a glass of it for my birthday. Now, boom, M Castle. Enjoy it on your birthday. Enjoy it, enjoy it. Hope all is well. Uh, triple Camry on a perfect draft is very strong. It goes down really nice, but gives you really wobbly legs. Uh, Chris Shaw, I get the whole... Do you know what? I'll tell you. <clears throat> Do you know after the Stella last Friday at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, I went to bed more or less straight after because the wife walked the dog for me. Literally turned this off. I was in. I turned this off about quarter past ten. I was in bed by half past ten. The flipping room was spinning. I don't, I don't think I had that much. The room was like that. Woof, woof. Friday night after the Stone Crow, I was like, whoa. I haven't had this in years. You know when you put your leg down on the floor, off the side of the bed, try and stop the room spinning? I have to do that. Honestly, I'm not joking after last Friday. Did I have a hangover? Surprisingly, no. I didn't have a hangover, but I felt... Do you know where your voice is a little bit gruff all day? And you're, little, you're a little bit, like, your eyes are half open. Didn't have a hangover, but I felt it. I felt, I properly felt it. But anyway, we've got 287 people into the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Let's go for 200 likes. Hello, Carl Saint, how are you doing? Um, thoughts on Carl, oh, this and something. Blue Dragon. Calling out a Tesco. Ah. Um, ooh, that's a, that, that, it's an interesting question because I did watch that BBC Scotland thing and, uh, Ah, uh, do you know, it's a tough, tough conversation, I think, to be had. Um, did the cheat code, triple IPA, put you on your ass, mate? Amazing beer, but it got hold of me. Um, Travis, I'll tell you what. <coughs> that drank like juice. That drank like juice. I released that last night, but I reviewed it yesterday. And I put a, I put a... Um, a beer mat over the top of the glass to save it. And phew, I drank that. Yeah, I, went, I slept all night. I slept all night after that. Um, open the window. It's roasting in here. Evening all. Tom Gamble. Yeah, can we do 200 likes? Hit the like button down below. Well, we've got 285 people watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Can we do 200 likes? 170. Well then, Irish craft beer guy, Adam Mead. Let's get back to normal. 172. 173. 176 likes. 24 likes to go. 24 likes to go. Come on. 24 likes to go. Then 176 likes for 200 likes. We got 170, 177. That means we got 23 likes to go. 179 means we got 21 likes to go. 183 likes means we got 17 likes to go. We are flying tonight. 184 likes. 186 likes means we got 14 to go. We are flying. Come on, hit the like button down below. 190 likes. 192 means we got 8 likes to go. Let's fly this. Let's get this in nice and quickly. 193. 195. 5 likes to go. 195 likes. Five more likes to go. Hit the like button down below. 196. There's a like button down below. There's a like and a dislike button. Well, there used to be a dislike button. In the corner. Hit the like button. We can get over. We've done it. 200 likes. Hit the like button down below. We've got 204 likes. You guys are fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Simon bought the Ice Master for the pub shed. Have you tried it? Ooh. Ice Master, what's that for, Glenn Watson? Not to sound stupid or nothing, but I've never heard of it. What is the Ice Master for your pub shed? 
Just arrived at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub from work. Cooked myself three pizzas. Happy days, Frank. Happy days. Simon, would you make a good bingo caller? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Pigs in blankets round 41. Mum, come here, come here. Look. Trav's watching. It's freezing. Trav's watching. That's from the What's tube. That? That's from the tube. That is a proper bottle of red for That's you. That's in clouds. I, I just said I give I just said I give Mel I give Mel a bank card to go and get herself a bottle of wine for tonight and I'm and I'm opening a bloody oh bottle of wine. God, that was like half your tube. It, yeah, it was, and I, I couldn't believe it was glass in there. Couldn't believe the glass made it. That is going to be a proper. I reckon. Thank you so much. This is your family's last Friday night here. I think you should crack that and share that. Uh, share share it? it. Share it with the family. Sorry, I'm not. I'm going to save that for a special day. Are you? Thank you. Yeah. Right, lager. I've also done the... What lager is it? Cool. Voodoo Ranger. I've also done the... Everyone's saying, hi, Mel. Happy Friday. Oi, oi, Mel. How are we doing? Mel's going to make a choice here. She's only going to drink my own brew, which I doubt. Uh, the, the Krups of Subcompact has Voodoo Ranger that in it. It's really nice, though. Yeah. It's surprising. Is this bowing a little bit? It is, yeah. With the Jesus way. Christ. That thing was a turn the blade. <coughs> I've got to get a new keg for the blade. I really do. Krupp's, um Voodoo Ranger IPA. Which it looked a bit oxidised this morning, didn't it? I reviewed that this morning. Oh, that, wait, that we got 300 people in the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. 300 people. Thank you so very much. I'm about to ask you all. I'm going to wait for it. Wait till Mel pours a beer. God, so what's in there? Voodoo Ranger IPA. And that one? Ten Lager. I know where you're going. You're going to go. Is the pint already? Um, Buddy Weiser says, Hi, Mel. Tony Tushu says, Is the pint already? It needs a couple more days, I think. Try it. It's quite a nice lager. A couple more days? I think it needs a couple more days, personally. The per pint of two worth pying. Uh, I'm drinking House of Hops on the pint of two. It's decent. Hazy Haze! Six pounds oh, super chat. Happy Tuesday, <laughs> Mel. Get yourself a bottle of Jammy Red Drew on me. Isn't that weekend, lovely? Though, but Isn't that thank lovely? you. So what you can do now, you can you. reimburse me for the wine you bought because Hazy Hazy has just bought that for you. <laughs> Next weekend is my birthday weekend on the... Hello, on Pat. The Hello, Pat's Beer Garage. How are you doing, but mate? Thank you. He's on the meat. Pat's Beer Garage is on the meat. So what are you going to have? Because I've got to ask you a question for the I think lovely I'm going to go for that one. Are you? Yeah, because I've got wine and I don't want to... Just have a little sip of the Voodoo Ranger first. Like... Have, a, have a little... No, no. Straight down. Have a look. That'll do. Have a taste. Let's have a look. See if this... It's a bit cloudy, isn't it, Simon? It's Why bit... is it that colour? Thanks, Hazy Haze, by the way, off? for the super chat. No, no, it's not It's not gone off. It's quite, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. I quite like the... It's just a bit, I think maybe when I was like put it in and poured it straight away, I think it just needed time to settle a little bit. Oh. Spitfire Callum said to stay tonight, but I can't because I've got a championship on um, Mario Kart to join. She will be back, I'm I promise not. you. Next week, next week, everything goes back to normal. Everything goes back to normal next week. Yeah, I'll be week. back next week and it's my birthday weekend next weekend, so you better get ready. Yeah. Does everyone see my new tattoo? Do you want to see Mal's new tattoo? So, show Mal the cake hole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this one for me as well? That's hey, for Travis, you. Thank you for my lovely gifts. We got the, um, the Aussie bubbles, which I'm really excited about. And then another one today. I'm be being spoiled. <gasps> oh my God, Black Forest Stout. Amazing. Where's your tattoo then? Black Forest Stout's going to be amazing. Get your tats out, Mel. Says, unnamed man. Mel went for a Nintendo Switch tattoo. It's really hurting. Yep, she likes a Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah, but this means a lot more than just a Nintendo Switch. That's what you all think it is, but it's more to it. It's more to it than that. There's more to it than that. Right, I've got to ask this question. Gizmo White with a £1 super chat. Thank you so very much, Gizmo White. You are amazing. Mel, what's the Mario thing? 
Um, online, Mario Kart online. Play and you do championships with your friends or just online all together. She that likes looks him. amazing. The cake on. Like, they might get a back reviewing. Moondog. I had was Moondog the one Lived that did there. that other one that Travis sent me. Casey's watching. Hello, Casey. How are you doing, Casey? It was my really daughter. Nice. Casey, you got to come and see your dad. I'm getting old. You got to come and see your dad. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I'm a nerd. I don't care. Um. So? I need to get a point. Let me get a point on the beer. Oh yeah, I need to decide what I'm having. This is not bad actually. Ah. Michael, what music do you like? Actually, I'm into Foo Fighters. And have you seen they're just um, advertising a film that they've done? Looks good. Look forward to going to see that. Uh, Matic Man, Mel, can you chat online using the switch? You have to do it via your mobile phone. Right, I've got to ask a question that before we got 312 people into the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And I've got to ask this question right now. It's just really important to me. Stay there, Mel. Don't go anywhere. Where are you from? What are you drinking? I've been waiting to have a really good viewership to ask this question. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Come on, comment below. Excuse Where are you six, from? Six, six. Yes, bit by Callum. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Looks good, Looks like a 360 disc tray area. Lagunitas IPA, Sisk Lager from Malta. Come on and get him in. Marcus, yeah, absolutely. Aberdeen, Burton on Trent. Derham in Norfolk, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Rum UK, Newbridge, Wakefield. Oh my goodness me. Horsham, Liverpool, Vodka, it's Paisley, Cronenberg, Liverpool, Derby, Wolverhampton, Glasgow, Porth, Marrog, North Wales, Newcastle. This is so fast. Bolton, Stella, Eastbourne. Glasgow, drinking tenants, yeah, with me. Long Island, York, Glasgow, Lewis, Belfast, Vancouver, Port Talbot, Newcastle. Oh my goodness, I'm going dizzy. Wow, you guys are amazing. You know, you whip from all over the world. Michael, we're coming Kent, to Kent. Kilmarnock, Leicester, Edinburgh, uh, London, oh. Newcastle, Venezuela, Lincolnshire, Sheffield, Sinsman, Francis Canna. Uh, Pontypool, Barry Bados, ESB, Tanit, uh, Margate, Finland and Coffee, still at work. Jack Daniels, Honey, Liverpool, Kildare, Durham, North Korea, Connecticut, Colorado, Ireland, Ohio. <coughs> Go. <23, Finland. coughs> Ladybug. Oh, yeah, I did that. Wanda, hey. Carlisle, oh, Carlisle, Manchester, Peterhead, Sicily, Breathe, Simon, Newcastle, the Kremlin, drinking vodka. Barry I Dublin Dublin Island, what's the matter with me? Finland, <laughs> Cork on a perfect draft, Castle Ned, Sheffield, South Africa, Los Angeles, here he is, South Victoria, Australia, Travis, um, County Kerry in Ireland, Vic Coventry on the perfect draft, Little Dean, um, Dunstable, Bedfordshire, and Breathe, shout out Mel, give a Mel a shout out, oh, this, yeah. Shout out, he lives in Kent. Winchester, Kent Homebrew, on the Ukrainian border, Wimbledon, Forsbrook, 61D, Belfast, Ice, Wallacum, Twin Falls, Idaho, The Moon, Fourth Planet from the Sun, Chelmsford, Rossdale, London, Bird of Prey yeah, on the I Sun. Mac, thank you for all your perfect draft comments and, and Krebs comments. I really appreciate them, by the way. Uh, Melton Mowbray. Jack, uh, you read my comment, Mel. I did, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I Where does the world is Joe nice. Biden's dentures? I actually like that beer, Simon. Will you give me the shades? No, don't swear. Yeah, it might be. Mouse, you need to move so let them see. Turn around. I can't, I've got to concentrate. Mouse pouring a pint on the crepes. There it goes. Oh, look at that. I gave up because it got a bit nervous. Ooh. Lager, craft beer. Look at the difference. <laughs> look, look at Lilo. Look at the difference. Happy birthday, Mel. Cat wants in, says Andrew Campbell. Alameda, let the cat in. Poor Talbot. She's not, she can't come in here, she's too heading. 
Oh, Michael is coming out of rugby retirement tomorrow to go and play for Port Talbot. That's amazing. Well done. Enjoy, Michael. Enjoy your day. Um, you're at the, at the age of life now where you're probably not going to take it too seriously. You, mate, you're going to go out on that pitch and you're just going to do your thing. I hope you do anyway. Went to co college in Colorado State in full college. Went to the New Belgium all the time. Killery Brewery. Killer Brewery and best brewery you can find. Looks like you have two giant pints of beer in the kitchen next to the microwave. Oh, no, they're um, <laughs> blooming pick a mix. Sweets. Pick a mix. I can see it though in the picture. Perfect pint. You guys are amazing. Right. Well, I definitely recommend Storyteller by Dave Grohl on Audible. Ooh, if you haven't heard it yet. No, I haven't, I don't think. Lock in. Is that, that's his book, is it? Uh, Try and Tribute by Austin Austin Ost for the first time tonight. It's quite nice. Tony, it's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. Yes, it is. Nintendo Switch is brand new and nice it really hurts. Shout out to Kate and Annabelle from the Forest of Dean. Hello, Kate and Annabelle oh, from the Forest look. of Dean. Kate and Annabelle, spelt the same way as Annabelle. It's our Annabelle. Don't see that very often. Mel's beer from the Krups is Voodoo good. Ranger. It's actually really good. I don't like the colour of it. It looks bad in this light. But it is it's tasty. The pointer is a uh, double IPA. It's not. It's not um, conditioned yet. It needs a couple more days conditioning. Man, yours looks amazing. The beer. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you must like having the house back to just you and the kids. Right, my father. We don't yet. We don't yet. We don't Tuesday. You and father. I feel like something happened to that Voodoo Ranger. It's a funny one, isn't it? It's a funny it one. Tummy bag. Four pure brewery in the UK. I don't want it, don't want tomorrow. Uh, the craft beer revolution is gathering pace. It used to be difficult to find a decent pub selling it. No longer. Um, Cliff Marston, absolutely. Um, it's your fault I'm speaking broken biscuits after buying a blade with Edelweiss. Top couple. Mark Rothwell, thank you so very much for the lovely comment. and Enjoy. The Edelweiss, Weiss beer, is incredible. I haven't had that for so long. I love it. I want a Simon Martin autobiography and a Mel Martin autobiography. Spitfire Callum. <laughs> Do you think you could write? I, I, it scares me the thought of the thought of we writing a book or no, anything like that. It scares me. You, you may never see any kind of literature from me, book writing or whatever. I just, I, I prefer to keep it digital like this. I can read. I can write. I can drive a tractor and all that kind of stuff. But. Um, it would be daunting for me. It would be absolutely daunting. We got some amazing super chats coming in, by the way. Um, FH, £8.99 <laughs> super chat. Thank you so very much. It is the hazy version of Voodoo Ranger, so that might be it there. Oh, okay. FH, thank you for your super chat. Neil Long with a £5 super chat. Notice someone mentioned Sisk Lager from Malta. It's the island's macro lager. Can't believe I haven't sent you one for review. It's pronounced Shisk. Thank you so very much for the £5 super chat. Neil Long, always supporting the channel. It's amazing. Lactic Brown, Mal, which character do you use on Mario Kart? I'm just going to quickly get this. What do you think? Dylan Taylor, £4.49 super chat. <coughs> if beard explodes when you open it, is that a sign of a bad beer? Had a neon stout and pale ale, both from Veronica Brewing Company, went everywhere. It means that it's either got an infection or there's the, the second fermentation process hasn't quite stopped yet. That's my experience with beer. And they always give off like an earthy taste if they're not great. Or slightly kind of, if it's a stout, forest fruits. Mel, go. So with your I'm character. normally I well I vary. So the cat Mario, which is quite easy in his name, but that's what I call him. Um Yoshi or maybe sometimes Link as well, because I like I like Zelda. Shanna McCarthy, you just you guys you guys are amazing. You guys all of you, all of you are amazing with your support for the channel. Sharon McCarthy, £10 super chat. Happy birthday, Mal, for the weekend. All the best, all the best. Oh, Have a drink listen, on me, Sharon thank McCarthy. Sharon, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate 
appreciate that. It's just really nice. It's just really lovely of you. It's not Did Mel's birthday the... <laughs> until the 7th, yeah, the 7th by the way. Yeah, the 7th of February. The 7th of February. But we got young kids, so they're not quite young anymore. But we've had a, you know, with our mother-in-law coming from Italy, we've had an opportunity to go away for a night. So we've used that opportunity to go away for a night. And we've got our Italian mother-in-law to, to um, well, my mother-in-law, Mel's mum, to, to have the kids for us. <coughs> So we're going to a steakhouse. Thank you for that. We're having a steak, and we're in a hotel. We're not going far, just in case anything happens. Um, so next. But weekend, thank you for thank you for the lovely early birthday. Are you um, doing? Super um, chats. We'll be here this time next week, right? We'll be in the kitchen. So this time next we'll week. Be freezing. I'll be anyway. back full time, and we'll be celebrating my birthday. So I'm gonna go in. Mum's on her own. Well then, where's Amber? Obsessed with babies, but unspared. Okie dokie then. Cheers, everybody. Are you going to show that to Deb? Yeah. Okay, cool. And that. Thanks, Travis and Melissa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take that bottle of um, red to, will, to uh, yes. your mum. Uh, be good to have her back next week. Mal, yeah, yeah. It's just it, Mal's mum's on her own, so she, you know, she's have to go out then. And What's going on then? Mel will be on that now tonight. She she's gonna open that. What what wine did you buy the buy? Jam shed. Jam. She bought the jam shed. Um. Oh, Travis saying cheers, Mel. Oh, Deb. The lovely so, Travis from Australia is watching is live. This is Travis's fa favorite red wine. Yeah, Deb. Look, you see, he sent. Travis. Australian wine. <clears throat> lovely, really, really lovely gesture. Uh, Cal to UK one pound seventy nine. Thank you very much for the yeah. super chat. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. So, um, how are we set up? It's quite quite a nice little setup out here, isn't it? Jam shed is lovely. Uh, you're a wine drinker, you hazy haze. Now, I think that's the final frontier for me. Wine. Um, I always got my back up with wine because of how the wine journalists react to beer initially so it, i i immediately got my back some of you already know this story um i immediately got my back up with it um i almost kind of daniel bell welcome to getting out a bonus of four pound 99 a month that is amazing four pound 99 a month membership you guys are just absolutely fabulous Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. That, that, that's like, for me, that's like a Netflix subscription. Somebody paying for Netflix. And we we don't have the production quality of Netflix. It's just a guy in his kitchen drinking beer, eating food, doing live feeds from his freezing cold conservatory. And I just, it still gives me goosebumps to this day to think that, you know, the production that Netflix have, the, 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 power that they have you know they're able to put out absolute quality quality content and it's just little old me here but you guys are willing to, to just it's just incredible it's just and tony two shoes it's just upgraded his membership to getting out and about it's just you guys give me goosebumps you're fabulous you really are fabulous I say off the wine man, it gives you gut rot. Um, somebody's asked about explaining Mal's tattoo. Um, Mal's sister's over from Italy and they're both loving the Switch. They're playing online together and it's part of their... They haven't seen each other for this long together for, for a long time and they've kind of really bonded over the Switch. They're playing together and... So they both had Switch tattoos. Just to remember the, the experience by... Uh, there was another really good comment as well. Um, Michael Watson, she was. She has been out. Um, do I still play Stadia, Tom Stocks? Um, yeah, I still play. I still, I still pay my monthly subscription. And I still... The game still come through. Apparently, Life is Strange is coming on Monday. Not Monday. Uh, uh, when, the, when it turns February the 1st. Life is Strange Remastered. Never. Mel was like, oh, you're going to enjoy that. Like murder investigation game. 
I hit some driver 84, was stopped by police and told them that he never had a license for 74 years. Some stories, crimes that you read, you just think, good on you and well done. Never, he's never had a license. So he was eight, 10, he was 10 when he started driving. <laughs> That's just insane. That's just insane. Um, blockbuster video once turned down by a Netflix. Oh my goodness me, Travis Wilson, that is insane, isn't it? It, it feels like streaming and the BBC. That feels like the next, like, stake into the hat. You know, we talked about that last week, though. We're not going to go back into that. You're a true working class hero, Si. Cheers. Steve Amelia, £4.49 super chat. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, always a red and it's only two shoes that I'm in the chat. Uh, let's be honest, this channel is great. Simon's reviews are uh, great food and beer. And nights like tonight make it worth a while. Uh, thank you, Tony Two Shoots. All about Halo Infinite at the moment. Absolutely banging. <coughs> Is that the new Halo game? Ten seventy nine. Is okay. Feel like I've shad all the Aldi offers, <coughs> or had all the Aldi offers. Sending and drinking punk IPA says Kevin. Yes, Jordan, have a look at my video, 1079 Project from Aldi. Check it out. It's a pilsner. It's reviewed on the channel. Simon, uh, been loving your food reviews. Sharon, thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Steve O. Richardson, we should do a Stone Crow pub quiz. <coughs> very early on, when we started doing these live feeds on YouTube, I started a pub quiz. And it just, it just didn't stick. It didn't work. Um, this concept, having a chat, having a laugh, talking, mingling, pouring a beer, drinking, having fun, asking people to tell jokes, it just works. It's like a group of people standing at a bar having a chat, but a big group of people, like 309 people at the moment are standing at the bar right now drinking and having fun what a great concept that is what a great it's unbelievable isn't it? and and it, it, it it's something that i've thought about a long time i'm gonna go back to this super chat minute because it's just unbelievable um kcj bomber ftw 20 us dollar super chat it's just amazing you guys are just incredible Go on Beer Republic and order up some other half on me. Beer Republic says KC Bomber, KCJ Bomber, and order some other half on me. Do you know what? I will. I'm on my phone right now doing this live feed. When I'm finished, I'll be in the sack going to bed. But over the weekend, I'll have a look at that website. I tell you what you need to do, probably, if, if it's okay. Um, send me an email, realaleguide at googlemail.com. Realaleguide at googlemail.com with that website, Beer Republic. Otherwise, I'll forget. I, I got another three hours ahead of me here doing a live feed. And I'll, 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 I'll never remember that website. So if you could possibly email me with that lovely website and I'll order some beer. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Another wonderful super chat from the wonderful Joel Morris. £4.49 super chat saying, Evening Simon, drinking a Brains Dark tonight. Brains Dark. Is it out of the bottle or is it on cask? Are you in a pub or are you at home with a bottle? Because the bottle version of Brains Dark is rather lovely. It's a rather lovely beer. Started the night with espresso martini. Now on the La Lager, nice lager. Oh, yeah, it, on the perfect draft. Brilliant, brilliant beer. Bram Hall Backroom Brewery says, Good evening, Simon. Why did the Mexican take anti anxiety medication for his panic attacks? <laughs> Ross, cool. Tommy Gabriel! 
Hello Tommy, how you doing mate? Tommy's in from the Print Works in London. How you doing mate? You must be working a night shift tonight or an evening shift. God, it was a long time ago now, wasn't it? I mean, it, it, it was July last year, so we're, we're like bang in. We're bang halfway from Brew, um, Brew London 2022. We're the same distance of Brew London 2021 as we are Brew London 2022. I can't wait. I really can't wait for 2022 Brew London. I, I still would love this to be at the print works because I'm going to come to your office with a bag of beer and we're going to just sit there and just have a have a blooming laugh like we did last year. Um, the tour, the private tour, was just incredible. Just just amazing. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, ben Harrison, £5 super chat. On the red stripe tonight, still debating whether to take the plunge into the perfect draft. They look night and day over the subcompact. Ben Harrison... <coughs> um, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making a conserved effort with my little crabs. I bought like six kegs for it uh, to review because I I was not using it and I wanted to give it a bit of love. But if you had to choose, if you asked me to choose between the perfect draft and the crabs, I, I would choose the perfect draft. Um, if the beer selection on the blade was an awful lot better, I would choose the blade all day long because that thing, thing there, that machine there, is the Rolls Royce of the beer machines. Beautiful machine. But the Perfect Draft, it's a very, very, very good machine also. So... Um, Thank you very much, Ben Harrison, for the five pound super chat. You're amazing. Simon, you could do a best per beer brewery tap room over the year based on the votes, uh, then and uh, based on your experiences. I could do Cliff Marston. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing you have people from all over the world tuning in. Love and peace. It's a nice thing. It really is, Steve-O. Really is. Um, happy 2022. I see the PD Pro bigger. Um, it's not made by Philips though, is it? it it's almost seems like, <sighs> I don't really think that I need to purchase the Pro because I can still access all of the kegs. I mean, if it, if it was like a phone upgrade where you had to upgrade to have the latest things, then I'd probably upgrade. But the fact I can still use my machine and get the Stella unfiltered and all of the other new beers makes me feel that like that I don't really need to take the plunge and go for the Perfect Draft Pro. Because the only difference it seems like it has is that it's got a temperature gauge. And uh, it seems like to put that temperature gauge in has made it's made that machine massive. <clears throat> <coughs> Cyberspace one two three. Hi Simon, cheers from Denmark. Drinking a thistle porter, award winning semi smoked porter. Recommendable. Uh, try it if you can. Get it and make a review. Thank you very much, Cyberspace one two three. It sounds good. KCJ Bomber, just just send you an email. It's a real old guy at Google Mail dot com. Gmail about the beers to pick up. You're a star. Thank you. I'm on my phone again. I, I'm on my phone, so I can't look now. But um, yeah, cheers. Uh, Big Kev drinking a 10.5% ABV Imperial Stout from Little Gold Supernova from Spay Valley Brewery. Only £1.99. It's great. Uh, even has a wax top. Anyone else tried it? I, I really like it. Big Kev. Big Kev. Well, is it um, Scotland Little? Only Scotland Little, or is it UK? Can you can you find out that, out that information? Because if it's right, if it's in Wales, I'll be going to Little tomorrow to go and buy it. Um, I'm trying out Beaver Town's Bones Lager. You reviewed it, <coughs> Mark? No, I haven't. Money can't buy you happiness. Well, check this out. I bought myself a happy meal. <laughs> love it, Strickers. Love it. Uh, 
What's the best IPA? That's, that, that's almost like an impossible question. I still like some of the classics, like Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger. They're still perfect beers for me. We've still got over 300 people in at the Stone Cold Virtual Pub. Yep, Spitfire Callum, all done, mate, all done. Uh, another suggested toast. Here's to staying positive and testing <laughs> Cliff. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Steam brew tops them all from Lidl, says TSA Bike. Hello from NH. Um, GJ can have a look in Edinburgh at Little tomorrow for that lovely wax top beer. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> I'm not repeating that, mate. Um Good to know, uh, this is someone else's comment, by the way. Good to know your uh, views on the Perfect Draft Pro. Uh, have you tried Ban and Car Porter yet? Yeah, I've had Ban and Car. I've had Ban and Car, it's great. Scotland Little always seems to be ahead of the game when releasing new beers. A, a new release recently up here in Edinburgh. Maybe you guys down south will get it soon. I hope so, big Kev. <coughs> <coughs> I hope so. Although... I've not been to Little in a while. Uh, was watching Oz and James drink to Britain last night. Still brilliant television. Brilliant. Can we do 300 likes? Well, we got 300 people tuned in at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Can we do 300 likes? That would be amazing. Hit the like button down below for 300 likes. We're doing so well tonight. So well. 270 likes. 270 likes. 272 likes. We're doing fantastically well. 276 likes. Hit the like button down below. 276 likes. Hit the like button down below. We're going to do 300 likes in the first hour of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, which is amazing. Andrew Woods is watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub live for the first time. Hello. Welcome. Silver Garden Brewery says, evening all. Hope you're all drinking good beer. We certainly are. We certainly are. Um, 287, 289 means we've got 11 likes to go. Hit the like button down below 11 more times for 300 likes. 300 likes of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub in the first hour. It's incredible. There's a like and a dislike button down below. Hit the like button for 300 likes to get us over the line. We've got 10 more likes to go. 10 more likes to go. Come on, everybody. 10 more likes to go. Hit it. Let's get there. Nine more. Single digits now. Single digits. Nine more likes to go. We got 291 people watching. 291 likes. How's about that one then? 296. Four more likes to go. 297. Three more likes to go. Three more likes to go then. Luna Lag from Aldi. I've not had it yet. I'd like to try it, I think, unless I've had it and I can't remember. Two more likes to go. Thank you, Simon. I went to Hook Norton Brewery last weekend. Well done, Andrew Woods. Two more likes to go. Two more likes to go at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub for 300 likes. Hit the like button down below. Two more likes to go. Two more. Two more. Oh, Paul Goggin, that's going to be a tough one. 300 likes, 300 likes of the Stone Grove Virtual Pub. Thank you all so very much. You are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Thank you all so very much. 300 likes of the Stone Grove Virtual Pub. Who's going to win the, six, uh, the first round of the games of the Six Nations? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. Um, I, of course, being a bit, you know, I used to be such a passionate Welshman years ago. So passionate. You know, if, if Wales lost again, I, I'd be like furious and stuff. But I got friends from all over the world now. I've literally got friends from all over the world watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Like Alan Mead from Ireland, who moderates the channel brilliantly well. It doesn't matter so much anymore. 
for me, if Wales lose a game of rugby, it used to matter so much. You know, it might be the case that I may... I'll watch it. I'm bound to watch it with a couple of tinnies. But it's not as important as it once was. Got friends from all over the world and it doesn't... like They're just lines. They're just borders. We're all people. We're all people. It's all, it's like it's like the sport comes on and we all draw our swords. It's, it, it's just I mean territorial dogs peeing on their patch thing, isn't it? You know, uh, I mean that in the best possible way. If you are kind of that way inclined, then I don't mean to upset anyone. But it's just my way, just my way. PVA Caesar, how are you doing? Even all he's saying, even all we done, we done so well tonight. Crossing sword, yeah. Right, I'm gonna drink this, and I'm gonna go for my first wee of the night after 61 minutes. Right. Back in a second, I'm going for a wee. Don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be four minutes max. Two hundred and seventy-eight people. Unbelievable. Oh, I, um, Andrew Woods. I had to get a. 
pint, uh, not a pint glass, a wine glass down for the wife. Um, another toast used to wives and girlfriends. May they never meet? Oh, blimey. Right, I'm going to get a pint. We lost them. We lost them. Right, so are you still on the wife beer? Um, oh, always a red note. Um, this is the Tenants. Tenants Lager, 4% ABV. Being a good boy tonight. I'm off to stay in a... I'm going for a meal tomorrow night. So, um, yeah, I'm spit if I can. I'm going for a bit of that. Um, good evening, Simon. And... Uh, T C T S C just came back from the emergency vet with the cat and expensive bill later, but finally sat down with a beer to relax. Cat's okay. Danny boy, one, two, three. Enjoy the cat, mate. Enjoy the cat. Uh, what was for dinner, Simon? Uh, I I had dinner. Um, but I haven't had any toast. Stuffed. I one stop. If you're old enough to know one stopping. I like to one stop. Um, I had a big lunch, piled it down, knowing I had the Stone Crow Virtual Pub to do tonight. And I had a big curry. You know, go to Weatherspoons, naan breads, Papa Dom's curry, extra bowl of chips. I ate that about half one. I was up to here with food, literally. Up to here with food. And I've just not been hungry since. I love a one stop. I, I love a one stop because you can get on with your day. You can get on with your day. You know, it's some people, some people. You know, I, I'm not going to, you know, if you are one of those people, I'm not knocking you. But um, there's, there's, some people are eating their lunch talking about what they're going to have for tea. You know, it like kind of dominates their whole thought process. And, um, I recognise that and I try not to it's not it's not in my DNA anyway um to be like that but what am I trying to say without upsetting people? I'm trying to be productive. I'm trying to be as productive as I can as a human being. And you, if you're constantly thinking about food, then you can't be productive as far as I'm concerned. Uh, beer machines of the future will not make that awful noise when pouring a pint. Imagine that. I predict that it will be five years from now that a noiseless beer machine will be available. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands. I like your reviews. Uh, you, try, you should try it a bit of fasting, Simon. Thank you very much, Christopher, yeah. Um, Mark Jones Gibbon, how's it going, Si? Uh, hope, hope it's all okay. Hope everything is... Uh, it's Friday, get the beers... I'll get the beers, the beers are in, man, the beers are in. Um, some live to eat and some eat to live. <coughs> Which one am I? Eat to live. Eat to live. Just flip in. Get it in. <coughs> Quick as you like, get on with your day. Get on with your day. I'm not criticising the other way. If you if you live to eat, then that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Two hour into prison fasting. How is the big dig, Simon? Do you have victory yet? Always a red. Um, I reckon... I reckon I've got another two weeks. Another two weeks to go. Digging. I've been digging since October. It's getting on my nerves now, I'm not going to lie. I've never been one to 
pull any punches, mess about on the channel. I'll, I'll always tell the truth. It's getting on my nerves now. It's getting on my nerves. Um, I got about another two weeks to go. I get into the stage now where I'm pulling my boots on and it's like, oh man, it's like a prison sentence. This is like, like this is this is hard. This is ha proper hard graft. I've lost some weight. I've lost some weight and yeah. I'm going to get Travis's comment though. Uh, cheers, Simon from the Netherlands. Big E. Holland, how are you doing? Uh, made 18 months ago, I decided to only eat dinner. It works for me. And now I'm 30 kg lighter. Yeah, 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 exactly. Travis, you think? Reach your dinner. And that, and that's, that's it, like, you know? And you can, you can be as productive as you like. Absolutely productive as you like. If you're eating, eating your lunch, talking about what you want to have for your tea, it's like, it's like, you're in a constant loop. You're in a constant loop of... Don't know. Don't know. It will all be worth it. Oh, it will definitely all be worth it, Daniel Bell. Um, Andrew Woods, what is the news with Witchwood Brewery? I haven't heard the news. Tell me. Eat to live. Food is our fuel to get through the day. Big Kev, yeah. Thank you very much. It's me, you, from the future. <laughs> I love that. So you into this beer talk, maybe home bar, etc., etc. Yeah, this is this is my little home bar here. Ken Hogg with a two pound super chat, two euro super chat, saying happy Friday, side from Dublin on the bottles of ruby. Uh, I never double up on meals. If it's chicken up for lunch, never for dinner as well. Grand chap share. Three cups of tea, three cups of coffee a day. Great advice. Simon, what about a little bit of music in the background? Adam Longson. I would if I could. I think YouTube is probably the last platform which allows music. It's one of those things... A little bit of background music. But then again, I'd be singing. I'd be singing along and, yeah. Yeah, turn down on those two. Now double me. Beef for lunch, beef for dinner. <laughs> copyright. Can't do it for copyright. Uh, closed down tap room, closed down brewery shop and closed production and moving brewing to a different Marston's location. Andrew Woods, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. Um, Marston's, you know, they're one of those companies, aren't they now? They're one of those companies. You can play my music, my sweetest punch. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, how is it going? And Twitch is terrible for it, too. Belt out a tune, fella. you Welsh. You guys can sing. <laughs> Uh, what's your go-to carry-on? Karaoke, what's my... Oh, come on, guys. You know what it is. Angels, Robbie Williams, Angels. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that used to, used to be my... Uh, used to be my <laughs> sing-song. <coughs> uh, Charlie Zobel, Simon, I mentioned cheese and biscuits and just sent you a tweet with a pic because you need these biscuits in your life, mate. Miller's Elements Roasted Barley Hops Malt and English Ale Crackers. No way! No way! They sound amazing! Ryan McFarlane, yeah, they'd have to pay the whole um, copyright thing. It's, I mean, I think it's the reason why TikTok's doing so well. It's because it's just music-based, isn't it? I mean, they, they, they... Did what YouTube didn't do. Uh, what about if someone made music for you to play in the background? Nothing major. Just a little chubby. Well, we'd have to see how it goes, wouldn't we? Uh, Tony Two Shoes, yeah. Hi, Simon. Would you be in California? I would buy you a drink any day of the week. Sage, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I've never been to America. I'd love to go to America. 
I would absolutely love to go to America. I would love to tour America. Um, if I had the possibility, I would just smash it. Absolutely smash it. My dad had a video removed from his channel at Christmas because he had Christmas music on the background. Yeah, Mac Jones giving it's just not allowed. It's just not allowed for copyright purposes and I never I never bother now. I I've never never bothered or tried for a long time. Hello from Brittany. We don't really need music, says Daniel Bell. America would love to have you. Jack Ban I'd love to, I'd love to come. How many Americans do we have in the house tonight? How many Americans? Comment just with yes. If you're watching from America, just press yes. On the low brow, on the perfect draft, smooth, crisp drink. Oh, Ross, great beer. Ted Slaughter is from America. Ted Slaughter. Robert is from America. Jack is from America. You guys are amazing. Yes, live in San Francisco, but from the UK, PVA Caesar. Ah, oh, San Francisco. Amazing. Um, sing some karaoke king, Robbie. No Wales, T8 Adventures. No. Um, we miss our man, Joe Biden's dentures. I'm sure he'll be with us again soon. I'm sure Joe Biden will as well. Yeah, he'll be with us soon. Um, Daniel Bills from America. <laughs> Alistair. Uh, hello to all our American cousins, says Steve Amelia. Oh, come on, come on, I'll be like that, turning the feed over here for a bit, just, just, <laughs> I love it, I love it, <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> brilliant, uh, does AJ beat us in the rematch time when I don't? I know you love your boxing. Oh, um, I, I think that Esk had a, a, a good go last time, didn't he? He, he looked a better fighter. Um, I think AJ was probably like... Um, done too much media, probably. Too much of that media stuff. Many Too many adverts. and uh, It's a shame. It's a shame because I think he went into... <laughs> <coughs> he went into the fight a bit tired. He definitely went into the fight a bit tired. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I still that's that's a I love the sense of humour there. I love the sense of humour. Oh god. Uh oh he's another one. And oh, actually got work. Yeah, basically, yeah. I'm gonna go with hazy haze here. Us will be AJ again. He will beat him again. Um, I, I would take the money. I would take that 15 million and go to the side. Um, Tyson Fury, different ball game, isn't he? He's a brawler. Tyson Fury's a brawler. I think Tyson Fury beats Usk. AJ doesn't beat Usk. Tyson Fury would beat Usk. Oh, uh, Matt Jones, given it, it's not out yet. It's not on my channel yet. I haven't put it out yet on the uh, tenants. Um, it's not there yet. It will be soon. I'm on the Melissa M M Messina. Great cake. Oh, Denty's really good. The Mal Is that the, the slight salty beer? Really good. It's really good. Um, just put the point to yesterday. Any recommendations on the brews? Um, TH Adventures. <coughs> I've only brewed one. I've only brewed the double IPA and it's not quite ready yet, so. <laughs> Someone's taking the time. Someone's taking the time to open a, a, a Lindsay Dull McKenzie YouTube account. 
<laughs> with a profile picture and everything. Someone's taking the time. <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I, I like the... I absolutely love the sense of humour behind it. I really do. Uh, Fury talks to talk and walks to walk. Uh, Sermo 48. White will try and bully Fury and head... And head his red box off before being KO'd. Yeah, I think so. Uh, greetings from Dublin on the Guinness tonight. Well done, Gary. Uh, Andrew Woods, thank you for the camera review. Simon, looking forward to those. Um, Usk is the uh, epitome of what being UK is all about. Massive respect for him and his brave country. Charlie Zobel. Yes, yeah, Spiffy Callum, this is this a channel commenting. Um, saying hi Simon, you know, <laughs> waving and love hearts and stuff, and yeah, it's called Lindsay Dunn Mackenzie. Someone's having a laugh, and I, I quite like the sense of humour. To be honest, is is a bit of a you know Friday night laddish thing to do. Uh, while look at Fury's record, who has he beat? Wilder, the overhyped American who can box just swings windmills, cut chops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, do you reckon Prime Rocky Balboa could be Fury? Oh yeah, any day of the week. Rocky Balboa would beat Tyson Fury. Comment in the comments box down below. Would Tyson Fury get knocked out by Rocky Balboa in his prime? I'd say Rocky Balboa all day long. Yeah, Sermo48, yeah, absolutely. That's good, AJ won't happen. <clears throat> Rocky or Ricky Hatton. Yeah, 336 likes from Cybercity, so amazing, isn't it? Rocky beats anyone. Rocky, you're injured. Rocky beats anyone, I think. Money on Rambo. It'd be a trilogy fight. Sharon McCarthy, Rocky Balboa shocks the world. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I, I like my fictional movies. Chisora was out bosking X. Daniel, but I, I, to be honest, um, since it went all kind of pay-per-view, I'll tell you one thing, I've never paid for a pay-per-view fight. Rocky versus Joey Barton. <laughs> Uh, Ask him batter, even Drago and Rocky Balfour, Charlie Tobel, <laughs> Rambo Rocky, Lanny Holmes in front of a pummel, all three of them. Um, Rocky would take anybody, any day, anywhere. <laughs> Rocky Balfour, Joe Calzaghe was the best boxer, not just because he's Welsh, Joe, Joe Calzaghe was the best boxer ever to live on this planet. Joe Calzaghe was the best ever boxer, ever, 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 ever. And he just was brilliant. Joe Calzaghe was just the best boxer ever. Comment with your best boxer of all time down below. Your best in your mind, your favourite best boxer <laughs> Rocky versus Phil Mitchell. Yeah, Phil Mitchell, Phil Mitchell. Carl Zaggy, 44 0, incredible. Ali, na, 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 na. Oddly, Addison, yeah. Remember, they tried to make him into something? Oh, my goodness me. Sorry, I have this for Mitchell. Bernard Hopkins. No, 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 Joe Carl Zaggy, me, Bernard Hopkins. It's <coughs> <laughs> his grand chaps. Ha 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 ha! His grand chaps, I love it, love it. Uh, uh, Fred Flintstone, the best boxer of all time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going with Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson tired. If Frank Bruno could have got. Mike Tyson, path round eight. 
Mike Tyson would have been a goner. Mike Tyson would have been a goner. He was he he, he puffed out. Mike Tyson puffed out too easy. Absolutely puffed out way too easy. He was kind of like you 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 get you get Roy Keane versus Rocky. Um, you get you get Mike Tyson past six seven rounds, and and you, you were onto a winner. You were onto a winner. He tired. He was an early round knockout specialist, wasn't he? Um, but Joe Calzaghe was he had a great chin. He was just the best boxer of all time. He really was, in my mind. And again, it's not because he's he's Welsh. He just was. He was. Holy feel like the heart of a lion. Yeah, card chops, yeah. Keen versus Rocky would be funny. <laughs> you imagine. <laughs> uh, Joe's hand uh, was so quick. He was all right. Yeah, oh my God. Mark Jones given. Um, unbelievable. Um, but have you seen Mr. Calzaghe? I don't know where you can find it. Um, Mr. Calzaghe made me cry. Made me tear up and cry. Because um, he's... Damon Bans. Um he, he had bad hands, didn't he? He he could he couldn't kind of he 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 damaged his hands so much that he he wasn't able to really like remember when he knocked out or knocked down Chris Eubank in the first round? And and Eubank was like, Whoa, like I gotta take this guy seriously, and then he went on and beat him. He couldn't do that towards the end of his career. But what he learned to do was score. He was scoring all the time. Bang, 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 bang. He was just scoring. Scoring, scoring, scoring. Because his, if he went in too hard, it would, it, it, he had really fragile hands for some reason. And he, oh, he was great. For me, he was a great fighter. Absolute, absolute, absolute great fighter. Ramsey Nesby, yeah. The work rate, yeah, the work rate. Floyd Mayweather have a, saying that, yeah, Floyd Floyd Mayweather. I I gotta say Tom Gamble. What an amazing fighter he was, or still is. I mean he's still fighting. He's he's gotta be in his fifties now, haven't he? TH Adventures, let's get back on track. Member for 19 months. YouTuber boxers, thoughts, I think it's rubbish. Um, <coughs> uh, I, I think uh, TH Adventures, I think um, it gives people opportunities, I think, to um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say too much because I, I don't think I could be able to turn down an opportunity if something big come, somebody like a giant from Newcastle come call in, you know, or something like that. You, you think to yourself. I'd like to take that on, you know. I'd like to take on that challenge. I'd like to take that on as a as a as a fellow YouTuber, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if I could say no to that, you know. Not trying to stir the pot or nothing like that. Not trying to stir the pot, but um, I don't think I could say no to that. <laughs> Uh, uh, spit for Callum. Um, right, four pound forty nine. Lally, Lally Williams, four pound forty nine. Four pound forty nine. Super chat. Four pound forty nine. Super chat from Lally Williams. Thank you so very much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Uh, did you see the Apprentice when they were make, making non alcoholic? Drinks was tell. I I don't watch much telly, Grand Chaps. To be honest, I'm gonna call you Grand Chaps. I'm gonna call you Linz from now on. 
I love that. Grand chaps, I tell you what, what a, what a fantastic sense of humour that was. It's brilliant. Um, yeah. I don't know, just, just fit, I suppose. Trying to, to keep fit as a, a an individual, trying to keep fit as a 42-year-old man. Anyway, apart from all this boxing talk, let's get back to... They made a spice... Oh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> uh, nice pint of Cronenberg and munching on some chilli Doritos. I am Connor Jackson, I've got to be honest, I'm starting to get hungry. By the looks of things, it's half eight. F H. Yeah, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Grand chaps. <laughs> it's just so. Fu I really like that. It's really funny. Uh, eat more, drink more. TGI boneless wings, awesome. Uh, yeah, it was the same, mate. Needed something to keep me going, lol. Um, I've already had cornflakes and toast this evening. Well done, Spit Fight Callum. Okay, otherwise, beer, it is the best. Adam Long said, it, it is. Blemming froth on my. froth on my nose. Um. It is a good beer. The Edelweiss Weiss beer on the Perfect Draft is really good. Christian, good evening. How are you doing? How are you doing? I mean, can is... I have been here. Yeah, in fact, he's a... a, a never was a... Yeah, Rab, see, never... Do you know... Um, do you know what annoys me about boxing? Very quickly. Is that... Is that they all go for like the, the the they all like go for this big ticket, don't they? Oh, he's the next up and coming fighter. Audley Harrison. My goodness me. I could tell he was terrible the, the, the moment he put on a pair of boxing gloves. Amir Khan. He, he was more of a celebrity than a than, than a boxer. The moment he you know he'd get his he'd be on the deck, wouldn't he? He was like rolling around flailing around on the floor the moment he fought somebody any decent but what happens fraudly yeah exactly steve amelia what happens is they stick him in with a lot of bums they stick him in with a lot of bums for like the first five years of their career knowing that that if they go in the ring with anyone decent, they're going to get their heads knocked off. And that, I, I found that annoying because, of course, you're paying pay-per-view to watch this, like, stuff. And... Oh, Nazi Muhammad, back in the day, he was... And Nazi Muhammad was, was a frustrating boxer, wasn't he? Because he would, he'd be in your face, he'd be, like, he'd be dancing around and, you know... Ricky Hatton, Audrey, <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> there was a lot of it, wasn't there? Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't. I could see through that whole marketing scam. A long, a long, long time. Yeah, people paying pay per view for that. Oh my goodness, I me! Mean, it's terrible. It's a massive like game, wasn't it? <laughs> Bruce Lee would have had them all. Right, here we go then. We need something to talk about, don't we? Sermo48 has just put the comment in. I wasn't going to talk about it, but things had gone all boxy and boxing and we need to bring it back to beer. Sermo48 says, don't believe everything the BBC says, BBC says regarding the Brewdog documentary. Uh, they may not be, a, be perfect, but the company got a lot of us into the beer and inspired tons of brewers. Still big respect for them. Sermo48. I mean, I mean, we're changing the subject completely now. 
Um, I did watch that documentary and, uh, oh, I've had a couple of points. And I'm going to start off by saying I've had a couple of points. And uh, I, I may... I may... I promise I wasn't going to talk about it. Um... I promised someone, I promised everybody in that house I wasn't going to talk about it. Because um, I, I was very animated watching that programme. The Brewdog programme. I was quite animated. Um, um, they were... Adam McVeigh, yeah, here we go. Um, i got to be very careful, see? i got to be very... Very, very, yeah, Tom Gamble, like, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, oh no, yeah, exactly, there's like almost, like, the channel's on fire type of thing, you know, that's the problem, it's my own personal view, but I've had a couple of pints, and that's the thing, um, I can see the viewership's going back up, everyone's tuning in now, because I'm talking about this whole subject, I can see it going up, people are already sharing it, and Tom Gamble, leave it. Bullman's Beer Reviews. How you doing, Bullman? How you doing, mate? Um, we just got on this tasty subject of um, do I talk about the whole documentary or not? Uh, cringeworthy, something doing. I kind of like... Oh, it's, it's such a tough thing. Right, people. Uh, been a pleasure, as usual. Uh, I am calling it an evening. Going to watch some TV with the wife. Getting in the night. Work in the morning. Good night. Good night, Tony Two Shoes. Good night, mate. Uh, Connor Jackson saying you should be able to express your feelings. Uh, Max Jones Gibbons saying, yeah, it's not worth it. Right. Um, how, how do I approach it then? Because um, I've seen... I watched it two days later. I went on Twitter. I had a look at some of the big beer writers. Um, uh, what was it called? It was called um, um, The Truth About Brewdog. <coughs> it was called The Truth About Brewdog. Yeah, it also got me into craft beer. They did make great beer. Not so much now. How the mighty have fallen. And something to do. So, um, I'm going to approach it slightly differently. Let's pour a pint. <clears throat> Um, or, or let's pour half a pint because yeah disclosure programmer um well well done Pullman's so um I am going to look at this whole it's I, I tell you what Pullman as another YouTube beer reviewer um, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. It's really tough. Because the moment, you know, you've had a few pints. Let, let's not forget. Let's not forget this is beer fueled, And people forget that. It's beer fueled. But the trouble is you're online. So you, you say something and it sticks to you forever. Somebody, somebody will just, you know, snippet this out and they'll take it and they'll take that. For, and you look like a, you look like a menace. Like, you know, you look like... You look like a really bad person type of thing. Um, so, again, I, I, it's, it's really tough for me. There's, there's 263 people watching. And I'm, I'm, and I'm trying to, like, approach it with... I'd love to just spill the beans and give you my honest thoughts, you know. Um, funniest thing I've is you've just pulled a pint of tenants and you start talking about Brewdog. So it makes maybe he's got shares and them too, but anyway. Uh, my thoughts, uh, I love my local bar and I am mates with the staff. I don't want them to suffer. But I don't want she 
uh, their beer right now. So I'm going to the bar that only drink the gas beer. Um, Bulmer's Beer Reviews. Um, <clears throat> uh, kill their beer guy. Yeah, keep your keep your nose dry. Keep your nose dry. Um, I do want to say one thing. I'm going to say one thing. And I'm going to leave it. I went on Twitter. I had a look at um, some of the channels, some of the beer channels that I follow, and uh, I wasn't surprised by uh, what I what I saw, um, what I read on Twitter, um, and then after watching it, I wasn't surprised by some of the appearances from people on the program. Um, it just didn't surprise me. In fact, it even made me slightly roll my eyes a little bit. Um, it, the, the problem is, I've had this flack myself. Um, the moment, again, I'm saying this after a few pints, and I'm going to carry on saying this after a few pints. Um, everything's great. Everything's great until a company makes money. Everything's great until um, you're not you're not a, you're not niche anymore. You're not. Um, <sighs> it's so tough. I'm really watching my words here. When I... Let me give you my own experience. Uh, when I was part of the community, part of the beer community, if you like, um, friends with all the other beer tubers out there, um, there was never going to be a channel that made money. It was almost agreed upon, apart from me. Apart from me, I was the only one who said that I can. I said I'd be back tonight. Oh, you've come to save me. I don't say that. Why? What's going say, on? Say um, People are really, really, really. I'm like, like, like <laughs> skirting it right around the edge. Like people away. are really skirting the. I'm like tr trying my best, of course. And I, I always say it's beer fueled. People are really, 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 really want my opinion on the brew dog subject. I would and, just and wait to see where it goes. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone's saying, some people are saying we want to know, some people are saying leave it, don't go anywhere near it. Um, what I wanted to say, and stop me, <laughs> Mel will stop me, Mel will stop me if I'm, if I'm going down the wrong lines. I think. Lines. I, I, I'm, I'm going to, I've got to say, I've just got to get I this think out. you shouldn't. What because I was about to say... I think that if you were to be put in that same kettle of fish, then it would probably ruin YouTube for yourself. Of so course. Be careful with what it's a big thing. It's and a... even if you don't say those things, if people say you do, sometimes that's just as damaging. It's a big thing. I'm probably... If I talk about this, I'm probably putting my whole YouTube channel on the line. I, I know I am. And that's why I haven't approached it all night. Um, I want to say one thing, and I'll leave it, because I need to go for a wee anyway. Oh I was part... I like was part... This is supposed to be fun. I was part of the beer... I was part no, of a beer that's community. that's enough, Simon. That's enough. Because if that man behaves in that manner... I'm not going down... I'm not, I'm not going down that road. I'm not... I'm not no, I'm not. it doesn't matter. You are going down that road. You are. You clearly are. But I wouldn't say that. If that man behaved in that way, then that's wrong. Isn't it? If that man behaved in that manner, he shouldn't have done, and that's wrong. That's not... You can't be professional. But at the same time, and, and I'm going to be very quick with this, the moment I was full-time on YouTube in the beer industry was the moment that all of a sudden I was on my own up there 
and all of a sudden the people that you thought you know would you know you were talking to people these people for for, for a few years and, and and all of a sudden because you start it started making money and you, you made her a business all, all of a sudden the same? Do you think that's the same? I'm just giving you my own experience. I'm well, just giving you my own... It's a different experience though, Simon. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try and say that you're the same. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not saying I'm the same. Well, work out what you're saying. Because it sounds like you're trying to, to justify it. I'm not, I, I really, I'm not justifying. I'm really not. Um, then think about what you're saying. Justifying what, what is... And I wouldn't even dream of putting you in the same kettle of fish as that. I don't even know why you're trying to m maybe one, suggest that. One more thing before I go to the toilet. It was only last week, it was only last week that I was talking about not trusting the BBC. And I'm going to go to the toilet on that note. I don't trust the BBC. Yeah, but that's I don't trust them. Reading one bit. too much Daily Mail. Like you, you don't trust. I don't them. read the. I don't read the Daily Mail. All you I read don't is, read the Daily Mail. All you read is the BBC. You're reading right wing propaganda all the time. You read the BBC. You don't read anything else. And it's funny that you then say. Yeah. So you you are you're meant to think like that because that's what they want you to think. Right. I need a wee. You get the comments. You came oh, out. I came in you for a came bit out. Of fun. I think Mal I'm going to bugger out. back off. Mal came what out. What a load of crap. Mal Why? came out at the perfect Why? moment. You came out at the You're perfect stupid, moment. Simon. You need to rein your neck in. At the end of the day, who gives us shit? It's got nothing to do with us. Oh, it's absolutely freezing in here. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Spitfire cameras fall, fall asleep, always a red, lift us up, fair play, Mal. Okay, what on earth have I come into? Blimmin' heck. I don't know, you guys, I don't, I don't even know how you deal with them. <laughs> so, oh, it's freezing. It is freezing out here. That's why he's got a big thick woolly jumper on, isn't it? For like the second week in a row. I'm pretty sure he's wearing that jumper last week. I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, Neil, Mel, gorgeous to see you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad at all. Um, how, oh, Mel, how is Luigi? Amazing. Luigi's Mansion is really good fun. I love it. So, oh, it is absolutely freezing out here. Uh, do you want to see my new tattoo? For those who already haven't, because I have already shown it off tonight. Uh, this is it. It's my Nintendo Switch. It's so cold in here. Somebody needs to put the heating on. Yeah, Mark Jones given. I know. I know. Oh, I'm on the red wine. Travis, if you're still watching, I have not. I've got a tat of a Wii U FH. Amazing! That is really cool. Really, really cool. Um... Oh, yeah. Ooh. Travis, if you're still watching, I haven't opened your wine yet. I have saved that one for a, for a special day. We nearly opened it, but actually it was too cold where it's been sat out here. So, unfortunately, no, I've not opened that one. Um, but I will do. Grant loves some gaming. Yeah, me too. We've got um, a championship in a minute on Mario Kart 8 with our friends. Uh, so, yeah, I can't stay long because I've got to go and whip some asses. <laughs> and that is like couldn't be further from the truth because I am absolutely rubbish at it and I'm not joking it um like I thought I was good I thought I could actually do Mario Kart quite well no I cannot I'm always at the back <sighs> it's horrendous um I'll hope you have a nice weekend love the tattoo thank you Sharon thank you uh, what character are you choosing? I'm probably going to go for the Mario in the cat outfit because I just think that's quite fun. And a grown adult in a cat outfit can't be bad. Uh, great tattoo, Mel. Could you shout out to me and Sean watching in Durham? Hello. Shout out to you. That was from Michael. Michael and Sean. Oh, Travis would have gone. Oh, Jack, yeah. Boring. Uh, Spitfire Callum, you're a good Mel. Believe in yourself. Yeah. 
oh, and how was the week off? It went really quickly to like the extent, like, I can't even believe it's Friday again already. Where's it gone? Uh, Mel, any Netflix recommendations? Ooh. Actually, not Netflix, but Disney Plus. We watched Dope Sick recently and I quite enjoyed that. Obviously working with medicine, seeing like, wow, that kind of stuff that has gone on. Uh, Kevin, what is the switch tattoo mean? Well, my little sister who's staying here at the moment, she had uh, the same tattoo, only her switch colour. Because it's it means like unity of ourselves and da 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 da, yeah, that's what it means. She also had a stick and poke hand tattoo done as well the other day. Which like I'm really jealous of. I might get myself one. She had yeah, she did. It was pretty cool. She had a mandala done pure by hand. It was really cool, really cool to watch. No electric, no zzz, it was just the haunted coachman. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you as well. Uh, Daniel Bale, yeah, honestly, it was very, very interesting. That it was really good. And Michael Keaton is absolutely unbelievable, isn't he, Billy? I agree. Oh, gosh, pardon me. Oh, what is he doing? You can see him in the background. I don't know. Yeah, James, I think he has. He's gone to bed. Oh, is he having a poo? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm here, I'm working in a hole, but playing the stone crow in the background. Nice one, Trav. Mel, please sound tight. Yeah, don't worry, man. It is. Oh, it's cold tonight. I am cold. I'm not Everyone says you need to change subject and stop being such a boring... Let's drink. do it. Do you know what, though? It is what it is. Yeah, change the subject. It is what it is. Yeah, but where do we go? Where do we go? We don't, 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 Gets a bit into it, gets a bit spicy, don't it? It's not spicy. No, it's if, not. It's if not. any it's of not. that stuff is true, then he deserves everything he's going to get. Yo, Stephen. Whatever you say, at the end of the day. Yeah. Right, but okay. But not to judge because I don't know him. And I'm not, you know, in that thing. But no, never I judge. I feel like it's something that you should be discussing. I'll judge his beer. I'll judge his beer all day long. I'll, I'll judge the beer because that's my job. I will. I will go... Is this beer good? Now, as soon as you come back in. Is this beer bad? I'll judge that but all day long because that's what I want to do. Is. It's been crap and crap and crap for a long time. And you didn't even like it, like any of them. Anyway, well, what is, so how's keep, the wine? Keep, yeah, how's keep the wine? out of that black water, Simon, because it... it I, I will well, not go anywhere near that, yeah. It's sort of been put in there to take you down. Whoa. Right, I've got to go and lose some Mario Karts. It's <laughs> false airy. Uh, why? Uh, uh, Connor Jackson, how, how can we make a game in the comments? Uh, what game can we play? <laughs> what game? Lampard, I, I, I'd like to, uh, personal choice, Frank Lampard, Everton manager. That would be my choice. Um, jokes, tell us some jokes. Uh, Simon, did you know Ben's? Spook had been voting number one craft brewery in Australia two years in a row. Joe Morris, £4.49 super chat. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, Ben Spook makes some amazing beer. Thanks for the super chat. Mel, is an absolute good one. She came out at the right time, didn't she? She did come out at the right time. Right, um, jokes. Vinny, absolutely, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, football coach. I'm working uh, in a tight access job today using a little 1.7 ton expert that would have sorted your backyard now in a day. I know, Travis, unbelievable. Travis, unbelievable, isn't it? Come on, right. Um, I, I am going to, I'm going to rent one, 1.7 ton. I'm going to, I'm going to rent a little mini digger. Um, for the back garden. Um, I need a pecker on it. I need to chip through the concrete. I, I laid a drive years ago, which I never did. Um, dig down. And I've been working on this blooming garden. I've been digging this blooming garden for months. 
Oh, new beard in Tesco, Bullman. Thank you very much, Mr. Bullman. Um, I um, had an email, somebody, uh, uh, off the top of my head, I've had a few beers. Um, I, I had a nice email from somebody saying that the new beers were in Tesco, and I, I will go and get them next week. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I live in Barry. <laughs> Joke the BBC address with really. Um Yeah, come on, where's your jokes then? Uh, my girlfriend dumped me, so I stole her wheelchair. Guess who came crawling back? Poor. Oh, that's, that, was a, that was a big one. Lord's Brewery delivery arrived. Loving the emoji of Mel on the can. Cat Boo. Well done, Cat Boo. Enjoy the beer. Um, the ESB from Lord's Brewing Company is fabulous. What are you actually aiming for in the garden? Neil Smith. It's a funny thing. It's changed the dynamic. Because we're low down and we had a high garden... It means we used to have to have high fences. It wasn't that high. This is going to sound, sound weird. But because it was only six foot, the fence, by the time you were standing in this conservatory, it was flipping 30 foot because of the height of the garden and then the height of the fence on top of that. So because we brought the, the level of the land down, to the same level as this house we can have for the first time ever normal i mean six foot fences around the house and it it will bring the light in massively massively so i didn't really understand what i, I gotta be honest what happened was the single skin brick five inches tall single skin block five inches tall supporting wall was leaning over and it was getting dangerous so so i thought right winter's coming i can go out in the garden i can go out in the garden there knock the blocks down in the winter and start working you know taking some i was, I was only going to take some a little bit of the land back because i thought i was going to hit rock Thank you, Matty, Matty McFly, yeah. Retaining walls, retire. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, mate, absolutely. Um, I didn't hit rock. I just carried on going back. And back, and I found more soil and more soil and more soil. And I was digging out more soil. And it was just soil. It was like a well. It was just a well of soil. So although it's taken me months to dig it out, I'm so glad that I didn't hit rock. Because if I hit rock, which I always thought, I always thought just below my feet is a ton of rock that I'm going to be, you know, mining, mining to get to this level. The fact that it's soil, it's just grunt. It's just, as, as Travis says, has, head down, ass up. Head down, ass up. Bucket the soil into buckets, get it out of the garden. That's all you do. That's all I would do is, is cleaning the, the, the soil out of the garden. But it is just tons, tons and tons and tons and tons of it to sort out. Uh, best English bitter besides the Stone Crow one that Lord's do. Best English bitter? That's a really good question. Um, best English bitter. <coughs> I'll tell you what I had a nice point of earlier. Because I'll, I'll only ever go back so far to what I've drunk recently. Because I can never remember all of the great beers that I've had over the years. I, I tell you, Bristol Beer Factory make a great bitter. Bristol Beer Factory make a terrific bitter. Um, I've had some nine grain, nine malt build, nine grain bitters in the past, which are amazing. Um, I can't remember the name of the... I don't even think the brewery's going anymore. Um... I can only go back on what I've had recently, and that would be, 
you be rich. Dig deep for you be rich. <laughs> totally. I had a Masson's Old Empire today. Masson's Old Empire. And it was all right. It wasn't great. Won the best beer, won the worst beer. Kind of. It was, it was all right. You can tell it takes the malt in it. It was all right. It was okay. Uh, Susan likes looking at the videos of the garden. Yeah, absolutely. I will, I will absolutely show you what I've done when I can. <laughs> when I can. What did one hat say to the other? You were here. I'll go get on ahead. <laughs> I love it. Sick of it. Uh, the extra stone crow bitter is the best I've had in a long time, says Old Hobbit. Well, I've got some news. I've got some news for you. And that is that John from Lords has just made a cask version of the Stone Crow Bitter. The Stone Crow ESB has been made into a cask bitter. And apparently it's selling fantastically well throughout Yorkshire. So cool. So cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. Steve B, with a joke. How do you know if someone likes craft beer? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> I like that as well. I like that one because I'm exactly the same. Uh, before and after photo of the garden, please, Simon. Marcus Simmons, it, it may come, it may come. Um, uh, hi, uh, Nathan Rodriguez, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, Mark Franklin, one of the most cool, oh yes, with the current ratio. Question time. Give a head to all Yeah, Mark Franklin, yeah, yeah, just I just ignore it all. Okay, most famous ever Scottish snooker player was Jock McHugh. <laughs> really pleased for John. Lovely, lovely man. He, 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 John from Lords. He's, he's, he is a fabulous person. He is a really, 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 really lovely person. I really like him. Um, we'll have a pint sometime this year. We'll have a pint. We'll meet up. We'll have a pint with him. Uh, oh, man, that stuff is lovely in a can. It would be incredible on cask. I think it will be. Yeah, I think it will be. One beer, two beer, three beer, four. Then I hit the floor, says Steve Amelia. I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger eating a chocolate egg. I said, I bet I know what your favourite Christian festival is. He said, you have to love Easter, baby. <laughs> um, when you said your family couldn't leave your house due to COVID, are they from another country? Nathan Rose, yeah, they're, they're all from Italy. They're all from Italy. So um, what happened was that they couldn't leave initially because of COVID and then Bristol airport didn't have any flights back until february <laughs> back to back to italy so yeah they've been here for five weeks five weeks i love it though i love it honestly because um i, I built up a fantastic bond fantastic relationship with my niece and my nephew and I built a decent bond with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, and yeah, it's it's all it's been good. It's been good. It's not you know. It's, I've, I've met some some of my friends and like, how are you doing it? How are you? How are you? How are you? You know, you live in a small terraced house. How are you, how how are you managing and all this? It's not been that bad. It's not been that bad. This is you know, the like niggle. It's gonna happen. Five weeks in the same house that's like niggle it's gonna happen of course it is <laughs> jack yeah yeah a scottish cloakroom assistant angers me coat up <laughs> king Let's have a drink. 
Do you think that a lot of the current IPAs all taste the same, says Rob Hughes. Um, so, uh, in 2021, I got really... Um, I found that, that I was getting a bit bored of New England IPA. So I kind of steered clear of the whole thing for a while. Yeah, 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 that uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Uncle Simon. Um, so so the question was, am I getting sick of IPAs? Do they all taste the same? Um, 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 2021, I moved away from New England IPA a little bit because it, it was kind of just a bit... It did become a bit samey for me. Um, but I tell you what happens is that if you go for a long time without drinking a New England IPA, when you open one, which I did the duration. I've not had a duration be in a long time. Or a duration New England IPA ever. And it tasted swell. It tasted fabulous. It was so good. The duration... New England IPA was like milk. Oh, and I was Tony Two Shoes, who's, who's now tuned off and watching the telly. <laughs> he sent me that can, and it was brilliant. Brilliant. Loved it. Loved it. But um, I'm going to try and get myself to the bottle shop a little bit more, I think. I ain't got doppel up. Uh, Rapsy does, but yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Eyeing a Doppelbock, good stuff. Uh, John from Laws revealed that he gets his hair cut and beard trimmed professionally from a barber called Barry. Well, I never always thought he was a beck and scissors man. Big, big Kev. Yeah, I mean, people have always got little surprises about themselves, haven't they? You know, and I think that's great. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I think I got this stupid COVID car, I don't know. Had one of the first time in ages and loved it. Uh, we like West Coast. Yeah, it is West Coast. I like West Coast, East Coast, New England IPA, Pale Ales, Session IPA, Session Pale Ales. My old ESBs. Yeah, I don't like it all, but I like to mix it up. That's the, that's the point of the exercise here, is to mix it up. Drink different beers all of the time. I think Neepers, everybody was drinking Neepers. They probably still are. <laughs> They're probably still drinking Neepers. But it become a bit samey. It all become a little bit samey. You know, same thing over and over again. Well, well, Mac Jones Gibbon, yeah. I mean, if you absolutely adore the style of beer, you know, you're going to love it. You're never going to get bored of it, but... It's a great style of beer, but there's more to beer. There's more to beer than New England IPA. You, get, you grab hold of a decent mild, a decent stout, decent imperial stout. They can taste just as good as a New England IPA. Uh, the only IPA I tend not to like, uh, Brute IPAs, They that was a series, oh, blimey, Nathan Rodriguez, everybody thought the Brute, I was like, what is this rubbish, <laughs> what is this Brute IPA stuff, remember, can you remember that, was it 2018, Brute IPA, oh my goodness me, I was like, terrible, rubbish, Yeah, Mac Jones giving yeah. If you can choose what you want, pick up a New England IPA, says Mac Jones Given. My wife said I'd do the worst impression of a beer can opening. Psst. <laughs> 
Yeah, Nathan Wright. It was about three or four years ago now, wasn't it? Uh, agree, disagree. Can bottle versus machine uh, be a micro goes to can bottle? So much choice, cheaper, easy to store, cold. Yeah, I, I, it's just, it's the nice, it's the niceness of pouring a beer. If you think about it, it's winter. I could have quite easily pointing over there. Um, I could have lined up on my table here. I could have laid out eight cans of different beers, different. You know, stouts and porters and saisons and IPAs and parallels and I could have I could have had a complete range of beer on that table tonight. But as a for a virtual pub, as a as a virtual pub, it's quite nice pouring a pint, you know. Being in a pub, having a crack with the boys, having a crack with the girls, having a laugh, pour the beer. It, it, it kind of works for me running a virtual pub, is being able to pour your own, your own hand-pulled beer. That's, that's the answer. Oh, Spitfire Callum. I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I don't what I don't know both of them. I don't I've heard of Joe Rogan, I've heard of Neil Neil Young, but I, I don't really know what they put. I know Neil Young Neil 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 Young sings songs uh, and I know um Joe Rogan has a podcast and that's as far as I know about the two of those people. So I, I'm not one for um, can't, I can't comment on that because I, I, I just don't know anything about it. Another point. Do you know what I found? Uh, do you know what I found? I found that um, because there's a little bit of lacing on the glass, it creates this head on the beer. Right, I, I gotta be honest. Um, I'm gonna go now and get a bag of crisps because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry tonight. I need some food. Right, I'm a little bit disappointed because I've been really enjoying my spicy wattits. Are they called flaming hot wattits in the big bags? 
to die for. And now I got a bag of chili heat waves. I'm so hungry. <coughs> really hungry. What's going on here though? I've just opened this massive bag of crisps. 180 gram bag. What, why does the bag need to be so big? When they're only giving you this much crisps. you just seen me ho open the bag. Why does, you know, bonkers. Here, yeah. Hard boiled egg, much better for you. Chili Doritos. I love these. Steve B. Crisp Machine. Yep, I have a physics draft pour. Air is cheaper than crisp. My favourite pub. A good pub that has a selection of cask, keg and a takeout fridge. The takeout fridge for me is so important. Because you have a good drink. The wife starts moaning. And then you go... Okay, let's go. And then you get a big 750 bot bomber to take home with you. <laughs> Ted Slaughter, enjoy. So I want uh, that burrito now for my son in review. Look, oh, Sharon McCarthy. That burrito was really good. I got the beef ones ago. I love it. I can't wait to get the beef burrito with me. The Horns and Coachman. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, John, I, I, I'm a crisp shover, yeah. <clears throat> oh, it takes um, it takes about two weeks for the Cardiff store to get anywhere near close to getting some of the new beers in. But I'm not in a rush anymore. I used to be in a mad rush to take care of those three to side. You're worried about your fingers. Huh. Travis, it's the pressure on the plane causing the crisps to get all the air out of them, yeah. I looked at them, I was like, whoa, look at them. Lactic Man says the old smuggler's den in Cornwall is the best pub he's been to in his life.
Um, I'm just going to comment on my beery beer. I'm just going to comment on my own channel. I, I used to like go crazy for for the, for the new beers and Tesco and but I, I'll. I know I'm not going to leave it for three months, you know. If I leave it for three months, it's old news. I, I totally understand that. Um, but what I used to do was rock up on a Monday morning when the Instagram post went out. And then they weren't on the shelf. So I tend to kind of just go, mm, okay... I'll leave it a day, two, three days, four days, and I'll go and buy the beer. And then I'll review it on YouTube. I, without sounding rude, I don't need to be, like, first on it anymore. I can just <coughs> review it. And thank, thankfully for you guys, I always get a good viewership. So it's, it's, it's absolutely fine. Big Kemp says, primary school flashback, um, Simon's body warmer reminded me of wearing cords at school. Who else favoured the cord over the traditional school trouser? Loved a pair of black cords back in the day, says Big Kev. Uh, Netherlands, Pujala, black jam, Imperial Baltic port, that sounds amazing. Um, Mark Jones Gibbons says we got 393 likes. Can we do 400 likes? 400 likes on the channel. Cheers, Charlie. Three more likes to go. Three more likes to go for 400 likes. Hit the like button down below. Is Simon Wood in the house? Is Simon... Hello, Simon Wood. How are you doing, mate, if you're watching? There he is. Simon Wood, how you doing, Simon? Cheers, mate. Comms ads. <laughs> 23 seconds of comms ads. I mean, guys, Simon Wood's in the house. Sorry about the ad, Simon. I do apologise. Evening all. Evening all. Evening all. Uh, what's with a um, life preserve kid? You jump ship or something? Life preserve? What's that? I don't know what that's... I, I've got no idea what, what that is. I'm off now. Thanks for the chat. Beer and beer. Yeah. Nice chatting, mate. Nice chatting. The Cave Arcade, where we're drinking tenants. Tenants tonight on the Phillips Perfect Draft. It's okay. Impressive 228 views and 407 likes. Um, yeah, Dutch, it is, you know, it's, it's, it's fabulous. It's fabulous to have so many people in. I mean, I've eaten Doritos, chili heat waves, as a snack. 
What I forgot to ask, of course, I've had a couple of beers, and I'll ask you after, is what snacks, what snacks have you gone for? What snacks have you gone for tonight? Comment in the comments box down below. I've had some Doritos, couple of beers, job done. What snacks are you going for tonight? Twiglets, Flake, Popcorn for Simon Wood. After you just had lunch, Nathan. Uh, Verdant stated putty, good. Um, chocolate, Yorkie, beef monsters, Chris and Dip, honey roasted peanuts. Um, uh, wow, wow. Um, chili Doritos, honey, bourbon ice cream. Bourbon ice cream. Uh, flame grilled steak Doritos, really good. Um, Trader Joe's orange chicken. Um, Doritos, popcorn, spare rib. McCoy's beef jerky, my snack is Stella Unfiltered. Well then, Mark Jones given. Pepperami, hummus, jalapeno, fisherman's pie. Fisherman's pie, amazing, love a fisherman's pie. Mini cheddars, chili Doritos, uh, only a 30 gram pack though. Um, quavers, hunky dory sour cream. Aldi sea salt and crushed black pepper crisps sound amazing. Um, pork pies, potato screw, pepperami fire sticks, pork pie. Nathan Rodriguez says, "What is a fisherman's pie? I think it's like um, fish, potato, and that that sort of thing." Um, Simon Wood says, I think I got everyone that said hello. If I missed your hello, I am truly sorry. If you don't say hello, then hit the like button instead. Ah, oh, what a guy, Simon Wood. Andrew Campbell's having the loaded fries. They're them like stick things, aren't they? Made by Seabrooks. They're blooming good, Andrew Campbell. Um... Daniel Bell would kill for a bag of cheese moments. I think I would kill for a bag of cheese moments as well. Comment in the comments box below. When was the last time you had a bag of cheese moments? It's got to be the 90s. 80s, 90s. I love cheese moments. They were great. Worker sensations. Chicken and time. Will change your life. Oh my God, they're good. Mark Jones given, they are amazing, absolutely amazing. A fisherman's pie is a pie you should give to your fisherman's friend. <laughs> Could do with Tesco's own brand of cheese balls. Are oh, they good? They are very, very good. Uh, sure, you can so get them. Can you? Doritos, cool original. Uh, even if Simon, thoughts on the cloud water. Oh, no, no, no. Um, Matt, I can't go there. I can't. I, I'm not going anywhere near that. I, I was about to go there earlier on and um, I, 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 I pulled myself back from the depths of despair. Um, no, I'm not going anywhere near that subject. I'm sorry. Um, thanks for your advice. I just bought a uh, so come back. Amazing. Jonathan Shepard, well done. <clears throat> Fisherman's pie is topped with mashed potato. Yeah. I kill for cheesy chips right now. Oh, cheesy, cheesy chips from the Lovable Chip Shop. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Who likes tripe? Tripe? What's tripe? It's like fish in a tin, isn't it? I knew a lady who sucked a fisherman's friend and as has, I tried to f fish. It never worked. <laughs> Um, not a dish that I know here in the States. Fun fact, uh, we're further away from 1980 now than we were from World War II in 1980. Wow, that's incredible. Incredible. Absolutely bonkers, isn't it? Cow stomach tribe, I think. Pickled, usually. Says always a red. Wow. <laughs> Lots of people having fun tonight. Lots of people having fun. I must admit, I'm due a toilet break. Um, I was five in 1980. I was one in 1980. Nathan Rodriguez. 
fish. I can't comment on that. I'd love to, but I'm live. <laughs> Have you had the North Brew? Lots of cosmonauts. Oh, drink. Yeah, amazing beer drink. Um, amazing beer. Incredible beer. Really good. Good stuff. Twenty pack of pom bears. We'll smash them in about ten minutes. I need a bag of one hundred and fifty grams of pom bears. Would swallow the bag like I drink water. Big caveat. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Cottage by our shepherd. So right, I'm going. Uh, Ken Hogg's having a pickled egg. I got pickled eggs in the fridge. I've got pickled eggs. In the, I'd love a pill. I got them in the fridge. Right, I'm going to the toilet. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back everyone. I am back. Uh, that is good for going to sleep. <laughs> uh, any more than four shakes in this play. Uh, how are you man? I'm all right Josh. I'm all right. I'm all right. We're doing okay. Um, John, yeah, absolutely. Got, got it all sorted. Where are we with the likes? Can we possibly do 450 likes. 
<laughs> Nathan Rodriguez, yeah. Can we go anywhere near 450 likes tonight? <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> Brilliant. 450 likes. We got 423 likes. Hit the like button down below. Paul Turvey, 8%. I keep smashing the like button, but it doesn't go up. Um, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, no Baileys tonight. Uh, Ryan McFarlane, I've drank all of the Baileys. I've drank all of the Baileys. Um, we went through a good few bottles of it in the end. Where's the Hulk when you need him? Um, I loved... The friends I have here, even though I know they got the wrong Simon. <laughs> For God's sake, just knock my beer over getting up off the couch. Connor Jackson, oh no. Hope you didn't ruin your carpet. Sorry, you missed the super chat from Simon Wood. Simon Wood, I'm really sorry. Um, went to the oh, there it is, there it is. I got it. Five pound, five pound super chat from the wonderful Simon Wood saying, uh, looking forward to the abuse for this super chat. <laughs> no soup, no, no abuse, no abuse, Simon Wood. You are an amazing contributor to the channel. I just want to say a massive thank you. No, no, no abuse. It, it, it's wonderful. Um, it's fun. We all have a laugh. It's great. Hi, Simon. Uh, I'm on the Jaipur from the Perfect Draft. Highly recommend it. Sean, it's on the channel. Check out my Jaipur, Thornbridge Jaipur Perfect Draft video. It's actually on the channel, yeah. Uh, our dry mate just going to have... Get another beer. Well done, Connor. Right, 19 likes. 19 likes to go. For 450 likes. Can we do it? 450 likes. Absolutely, Simon Wood. It's, it's just a good bit of fun, isn't it, mate? It's just one big bag of fun. I've now, I've, I've never taken offence either to this, to this live feed. I mean, everybody has a laugh. Everybody has a joke. There's nothing kind of too crazy going on. It's just fun. It's just fun. Jess with a five euro super chat saying, "Hit the like button." Thank you so very much, Jess, for the five euro. Super chat. You guys supporting the channel is amazing. I just want to stop and say thank you so very much for the support on the channel. It's amazing through people joining, becoming members. Have a laugh, says Simon Wood, exactly. And the super chats, you guys, the support we get with the super chats is just bonkers. Thank you so very much. And as Buddy Wise has just said, Ten more. Ten more likes. Nine more. Nine more likes. Nine more likes. For 450 likes. John Bance. Five pound super chat. Love you, man. We love the stuff you do. Amazing. Thank you so very much. You guys are just brilliant. Thank you. Ten more likes to go then. Ten more likes to go. Hit the like button down below for 450 likes. Uh, that's a very, very good comment. Uh, let's see Barry's comment first. Just been out with it, with John from Lord's Brewing Co. For his sleeper lodge in Edsville. Top guy, John. Barry. Barry, yeah, John's a top guy. Uh, ben Boy has said, I've had my crups, the subcompact, for two years. What would I now give it out of ten after having the machine for two years? That's a really, really, really good question. Amazingly interesting question. Paul Turvey, welcome to the lifeboat, keeping us afloat. Thank you so very much for the membership. I really appreciate it, Paul Turvey. Uh, sorry, did you see Johnny's unboxing video this week? Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to watch it, Travis. I will watch that. Uh, Jamie Draper, £4.49 Super Chat. Happy Friday, matey. 
Happy Friday to you. Let's drink to that. Thanks for the super chat. And FH with a £4.49 super chat saying, Sorry, give a big shout out to my beautiful other half, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Thank FH for the £4.49 super chat. Absolutely wonderful. Have a lovely evening. Thank you also very much for the support. Um, hi Simon, can you shout out Ed on the speckle then? <laughs> Brilliant. What were we just talking about before we were talking about something? Oh, the Crips, the, 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 the Crips. Yeah, two, I've had it about two years now. Ooh. I reckon an eight. Eight out of ten for the Crips after two years. Eight out of ten. Everything's still working. Everything's still unky dory It's a great little machine, it really is. Is Timmy Taylor still a good beer? Drank many gallons in the 70s and 80s. Um, Landlord would, I would say, is probably their pole position prime beer. Timmy Taylor's. Yeah, they, they still make good beer. They certainly do. Uh, I'll eat a plate of chicken wings. What would you rather do, Simon, if forced? Oh, the spicy hot challenge. Oh, my goodness me. That was so hot. That was so hot. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that, yeah. How were your Bristols at Christmas, Simon? My Bristols at Christmas. They were good. They were good. Yeah. Enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed Christmas. Yeah. Love a Timmy. Yeah, oh, I love a Timmy. Love a Timmy Taylor. Absolutely amazing. So, did you ever drink anything from Cane's Brewery in Liverpool? Steve Amelia. I got something to say about Cane's Brewery. When I first started the channel, you would see their beers in home bargains. And I never got round to it. And I wish I got round to Kane's beard because they disappeared soon after. Within the channel opening after the first two years, Kane's Brewery disappeared. And I wish, I wish I reviewed some of their beers before it went. Hmm. <laughs> I'm smile and laugh at that one. Um, if I send if I send you a spicy coating, would you attempt to make your own popcorn chicken? I'd have a go. I'd have a go at anything, Travis. You know, popcorn chicken. I that would have to be like with breadcrumbs, wouldn't it? I'd have a I'd have a go at something. Daniel Bell, I still got it. I've still got the spicy jerky. I really do. <laughs> See, yeah. The worst actual, like, Kellogg's killer. <laughs> Good Lord. Where'd that come from? The honey monster. Um, oh, That was a big old sneeze, wasn't it? And he blew my head off. It's coming again. God. Um, I still got the... Look at my blooming hair everywhere after sneezing. Oh. I still got the jersey. Jersey jerky stuff to do. The problem is... My problem is... Is that... It's hard with the family around. <laughs> It's really hard doing stuff like that. There's a bit of Dorito stuck in my nose, I think. 
Uh, so there's the battery we get. I'm wondering what could put working on the map. Woking. Woking on the map. A rap. Simon Wood. What about a rap? Not like... <coughs> not that rap, but like a, like a tortilla. Tortilla rap. Pie. Gravy. Chips. Onion rings. In a wrap. Oh, how about that then? That was at the top of my head. You make up your own things. I got chilli wraps from the, the uh, Iceland range. And I'm thinking of doing something a bit crazy. Wrap a pork pie up with a, with a minced beef onion pie. Some chips and some gravy and some... Ah, oh, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? That was less offensive than what I went for. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, thoughts on the Chicken Big Mac? I think I made one. I'm sure I did the Chicken Big Mac. I think I made a Chicken Big Mac last year, but I'll review the Chicken Big Mac. I will do it on Wednesday when it comes out. Woken from Woken. <laughs> uh, Sharon McCarthy, would, would I not do the chicken wings to the girls? I don't like, I don't, I just don't like the texture. So I'm really sorry, sorry Sharon McCarthy, but I don't like the texture. I just can't do it. It's weird. I'm like more vegan than, than most people, but I still eat a, like process me right yeah so um simply dice up chicken breast i personally use chicken thighs coat in this coating i'll send you and cook them that sounds good man that uh, travis that sounds like really good oh why haven't i thought about that before batter and ah, oh, make my own popcorn chicken homemade popcorn chicken Um, Butters says, I, I sneeze like a train after too many. Yeah, absolutely. Shredded meat, terrible, I know. I get my coat. Best I can come up with on the spot, says Big Kev. After his question of, what's the worst serial killer? Shredded meat. <laughs> um, I don't like wings either, Simon. They are bad for me, lol. <laughs> well done, Charlotte. Yeah, I just struggle. I just struggle with the wings. I really do. I just sneezed all of my toast. I can't believe it's not butter, says Cod Chops. <laughs> Brilliant. Scampy flavoured pot noodle. When When's that coming out then? Scampy flavoured pot noodle. That'd be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Proper pub question. Favourite dance player? Marcus Simmons. Marcus Simmons is saying, what's their favourite darts player? Mine's uh, the guy that, you know, he's retired now, but he wears all the rings and he got all the gold necklaces. What, what's his name? He does the commentary. Or he used to do the commentary. Tony said, was it Tony or... He's a right, like, Londoner. I think, oh, yeah. What was his name? Bobby George! Bobby George, Bobby George, ah, oh. eh, John Bans, no he's not is he, he's not, Bobby George hasn't passed away is he, the one that, that retired, oh, can anyone confirm if Bobby George passed away, oh he's pa John Turvey saying, oh no, The commentary is. He's Bobby just unfortunately. Oh no. Bobby George, is he? Oh no. What a guy. What a guy, good old Bobby George. He was like, you know, you know Matt says he's not. 
Bobby's still alive. Thank goodness for that. He's still with us. Thank goodness for that. Because I was thinking I'd know about that. I'd know about that. If I was thinking, why have I missed that news? Um, oh, thank you. He's an absolute legend. He's an absolute legend. It's, it's a generational thing, isn't it? It's a generational thing. It's like... Bobby George and the dads is... Is... Man, he's just great. Gary Anderson, the Flying Scotsman, my favourite darts player. Age 76, he's still going. Stephen Melia with a £4.49 super chat. Says, Sai, you are a true man of the people. And we all really appreciate what you do every Friday to entertain us all, mate. Stephen Media, thank you so very much. Honestly, Stephen Media, thank you so very much for the £4.49 Super Chat. Amazing. Uh, Gerwin Price, again, um, I don't even know. Gerwin, Gerwin, Gerwin. Um, again, my thoughts are that five ten years ago i probably would have supported that man because he was just welsh he was a welshman playing playing that but my mind is very much more open than that now where i like a character i like a character i like somebody who's a laugh and a joke and somebody that i can relate to it doesn't matter if they're Welsh, Irish, Scottish, English, Spanish, Italian. Most people like will turn on the Formula One and go, oh, you know, if they're, if they're new to it, or oh, if they're from the UK, they'll go, who's the Brit then? Who's, who's racing for Britain in the Formula One? And I'll go, actually... Fernando Alonso is a really, really good racing driver, a technical racing driver from Spain who I like and support. Not because he's, you know, because he's one of the best racing drivers of all time. Simon, I must have missed stuff from what I've been talking, so I will um, apologise here. Ken Hogg is saying we got 452 likes. 452 likes. That is just bonkers. Amazing. Love and hate still lives up. I lived in Lambda for years. I'm English and that's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Marcus Simmons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah, for me, it's about it's about the person, not from the country or where they're from. And I know that means a lot to a lot of people. It does, of course it does. And it used to mean a lot to me. But I got friends all over the... I got, I got some great beer mates around the world and it didn't, it didn't, it didn't matter where you're from. It's the person. It's the person that matters. Uh, I'm lucky at the moment. I've always followed McLaren. And now we have Danny Rick driving for us. Travis, yeah. He's a great driver. Probably one of the best in the world. Probably one of, would have probably won the championship over Verstappen, I would say. Because he was a very, very good racing driver. What's with these over carbon? Sorry guys, well then. <laughs> Lots of people enjoying it tonight. Always been a McLaren fan rather than following a driver, but as yeah, I'm gonna say I I like McLaren. Um Yeah, I, I like McLaren too, gonna be honest. Um 
I was never really a Williams uh, enthusiast. Oh, I, I always liked McLaren. Um, I tell you a team that I'm rooting for at the moment. And that's because they seem to, in Formula One, they seem to, like, punch above their weight. I know Red Bull are behind them. Is Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso seem to be like, they're doing their own thing. And they're, they're always punching above their weight. Always, always. Salty popcorn, over-carbonated beers, like drinking a... <laughs> Over cabinet fans, absolutely. James Digby, love a bit of McLaren. Uh, no, I'm absolutely fine. I just won't be mentioned in the same. Ah, yes, yeah, Simon Wood, yeah, of course. Um, it's something I, I won't even mention the word. Um, Simon Wood, um, it's not been mentioned on the channel all night. Um, I totally understand that you don't want to talk about it and uh, and and people who I, I i think in the past um I've, I've made my own personal kind of like i've overstepped the mark in talking about the whole situation as i like to call it um it's a free zone now i don't talk about it at all um i, I have respect for everybody who Uh, uh, you know, uh, everybody on the channel. I, I, I have respect for everybody on the channel. Uh, but I've always said that we're going to make light of this situation and we're going to have a, a laugh in this situation. I mean, Simon Wood, uh, it's so tough because, like you, I love to travel. I love to travel. 2018, 2019, I went Norway, Germany, Poland. I was traveling all over with the beer, traveling all over. And then this situation happened and, and, and the Stone Crow was born. So, um, Ah, that's a funny one. It's a, I, 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 I know, of course, uh, we've never spoken privately or publicly about this, but I, I know you have a, a, a lovely fiancé in the Philippines. Mr. Stinky Fish videos. And you want to probably travel there. You want to get on that plane, you want to travel there and, uh, and enjoy it. You really do. <laughs> it's red some cars can do that. Uh says cod chops. Uh last time I watched F1 was when Nigel Mansell was a driver. The haunted coachman. Wow. It's a long time. Yeah, uh, Max or Gibbon, hopefully it will be a rebirth. Hopefully there will be a lot more overtaking, a lot more close close driving. Matt is saying, if it wasn't for the situation, there probably wouldn't be a Stone Crow and we wouldn't be sitting here now. Probably totally right. You're totally right. Uh, Neil Mc... The, the, the beer prices are very, very expensive in Norway. Ah, Simon Wood. It's, it's the pub. I'm going to say one more thing. And that is... 
what I love about this pub, the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, is that it gives people the opportunity to air their grievances as well. Not just their grievances, but that's probably the wrong thing to say. But when you have a few points, like I have, Mel pulled me from the brink earlier on with that whole television program that was aired on BBC Scotland. And that's just beer. That, that, that's, that's just beer, you know. Um, we come here, we drink, we have a laugh. Every now and again, it's happened to me on a million, billion occasions here on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We might have one too many and we might like say something that where you wake up in the morning you go oh, I probably shouldn't have said that but then what happens is you go on the stone crow then a week later and everybody's forgotten about it and that's the beauty that's the beauty of the stone crow virtual pub is that you all come back next week and we've all forgotten about it and we've all getting on you know and that's what I love about this live feed we just move on. We just, we just, yeah, that was dealt with. That was done. Let's move on. And and it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Right. <laughs> Simon, yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I I'm going to drink up tonight. I'm taking my lovely, lovely wife. Um, Paul Turvey, Stone the Crows. Uh, new member. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Marcus Simmons. Marcus Simmons, welcome to the lifeboat, keeping us afloat. Unbelievable. Buddy Weiser has just pulled me to this. And I did see it, but we were in mid-conversation and then I honestly kind of missed it go by. So um, I seen it and then it slipped, but thank you to the new member. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you very much. Marcus Simmons, £1.99 a month. Welcome to the lifeboat, keeping us afloat. I am taking the wife out tomorrow. So I'm going to call it early tonight, if that's okay with you guys. I'm going to call it early. Just half an hour early. Normally it's half past ten. But I'm taking the wife out. And I, and I want to be right as rain in the morning. Because um, I'm going to do a breakfast. And then we're going to go out and, and have some fun and relax and have a good time. Yeah, I'm taking her to Asda. So <laughs> In Canada, yeah, we're going to Asda. But uh, 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 thanks for an amazing stream, Simon. You're a brill Irish craft beer guy, Alan Mead, with a 199 euro super chat. Thank you so very much. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it early tonight because I'm taking the good wife, good wife out tomorrow. So sure, new kid in that. Oh, Buddy Riser. <laughs> yeah, but I just got it. I thought you were saying you could have a new uh, new new kid in nine months. Um, I hope you both have a lovely time, Simon. Sharon McCarthy, thank you so very much. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go and um, get myself to bed. I'm going to wake up tomorrow fresh to have a nice day with Mel. But thank you. Thank you so very much for watching Stone the Crows. Boom. See you next Friday. Cheers.